two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. High V, score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. It's no secret that Mother Nature is not a fan of college sports, at least in January. Uh, this week has brought a, a cloudburst of uh, double-digit snowfalls blown around by 30 to 40 mile an hour uh, winds closing interstates and primary roads and now add in uh, temperatures that are about to drop faster than a Caitlin Clark or a Peyton Sanford three. Hey, and you have minter, you have winter in the Midwest. I mean, uh, it, its wrath has rolled into Iowa City, but so have the sizzling Nebraska Cornhuskers fresh off victory over top ranked Purdue on Tuesday. We will have Big Ten basketball tonight at Carver Hawkeye Arena and Mediacom Court. Good evening, everybody. Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hanson greet you on the Hawkeye Radio Network for Iowa, Nebraska. It could be a little isolated, Bobby, and I might be a little lonely before the night's over. How many people will show up? We're not sure. Uh, we don't blame them if they don't. Uh, we'd love to have them if they're uh, at least close by Carver Hawkeye Arena. Uh, the weather will keep many away. You know, Bobby, it reminds me a little bit of the COVID year when folks uh, weren't allowed to in the building it's been quite the week yeah it really has Gary. a lot of snow a lot of wind and uh, a lot of treacherous driving out there for people but there's a few people that are have shown up here they're down on the court watching the hawkeyes warm up you got a few people made the trek over from nebraska but you got a hot nebraska team here that just knocked off number one purdue and they withstood every punch that purdue came at them with so uh this would be a heck of a game here tonight yeah, more about that purdue game in a minute uh, but, but as our buddy jim zobel used to say on a night like this throw another log on the fire and hug your radio uh, traveling is not advised uh, on the roadways uh, or the basketball court for that matter and bobby uh, th that's evident with these two the hawkeyes and huskers uh, they're two of the very best at taking care of the rock iowa is eighth in the country with a near two to one assist to turnover ratio nebraska is one and a half possessions to one you know, those extra possessions find Iowa averaging a league-best 87 points a game. And Nebraska is just under 80. Uh, these two teams, not only can they get up and down the floor and score, uh, but they protect the basketball. Yeah, that's a good thing, too. And uh, Iowa has been that way all season long. Nebraska has not been that way in the past few years. But this year, they are. They've got the addition of some, um, uh, some transfers that have come in, some grad transfers. They're a veteran basketball team. They've got a lot of parts to it. And it's a team playing with a lot of confidence. But you know what? They hang their hat on the three-point shot. Kasei Tomonaga, one of the best in the Big Ten, three-point shooting. They knocked off Purdue at 61%. Three-point shooting, seven Cornhuskers made threes in that game. So that's where you got to start your defense tonight is guard that three-point line, make them put it on the floor, and then uh, converge on them at the basket. Hawks have had five days up, and they made some headlines with that big victory over Rutgers uh, last Saturday. Owen Freeman is for the fifth time a school record Big Ten freshman of the week uh, after uh, the games at Wisconsin and here against the Scarlet Knights, Owen averaged uh, 14 points, eight rebounds, and two block shots on average. Uh, what a week for uh, the Big O, as we're starting to call it. Just keeps getting better and better. Playing with confidence, Gary. That, that's the main thing with freshmen is they've now realized that they belong. They belong on the court here, and they have the trust of their teammates. Fran's got him in the starting lineup, and he has produced. So just love the way the kid plays, love the way he battles. He's quick off his feet on the offensive glass. He's a rim protector uh, on the defensive end, and he's slowly expanding his offensive game to uh, take it out there to 15, 17 feet, knock down a jumper. Earlier this week, the top three ranked teams were upset 
And, and I was trying to remember when's when is the last time that happened. I'm sure it, it, it wasn't as long ago as I thought it was. But Nebraska led the way. Fred Hoiberg's crew with a 16 point win over Purdue in Lincoln that left the Husker coach uh, proud on a couple of fronts. It was, you know, a crazy week with us knocking off Purdue, Iowa State, my, you know, my alma mater we had a great win, obviously, against Houston. And uh, it, it, it just, you know, our league right now, uh, you look at Michigan State right now, for example, with, with what they're uh, going through. Um, you know, we caught them early and, and had a really nice win against that team. But, you know, Tom's team's going to get it going, and they're going to be there right at the end. I think Illinois has got a really good team. And, and Northwestern has had a, two great wins with knocking off Purdue and Michigan State. And I think Minnesota is uh, is really kind of the surprise of the league right now. We found that out uh, in uh, in our first road game, uh, you know, getting knocked off by Minnesota. So I just, uh, you know, think top to bottom, we're as good and as deep as anybody in the, in the country. Yeah, the Hawks head to uh, Minneapolis on Monday afternoon. Martin Luther King Day on uh, the holiday. We'll play the Gophers uh, at Williams Arena. Uh, more on that uh, as the evening wears on. But Wisconsin is the last unbeaten team in the Big Ten at 4-0. Illinois, Minnesota, and Northwestern have one loss each. Uh, admittedly, we're only a quarter of the way through a 20-game schedule, Bobby, but you get the picture of what a wild ride this thing's going to be to the finish line. Yeah, every night out, every afternoon out, you better bring your A game because uh, with the three-point shot and the way teams are utilizing it now, uh, it, it's fair game. Anybody can knock off anybody. And when you see what the Nebraska did to Purdue, holding them, uh, holding Zach Eady to just 12 points in the two games of the last couple of seasons. So, yeah, it, it's... Uh, you know, make your shots, play some defense, and tonight the Hawkeyes need to get out and run. Make this team run up and down the court. See if they can keep up with the Hawkeyes. Hawks have won four of their last five. Nebraska has won six of its last seven games. Uh, but here's something you need to know. At home, Iowa is 7-1 and one on the season, and in those seven victories, they've averaged 96 points. Uh, more of the same, uh, please. Uh, speaking of uh, Minnesota, they're playing at Indiana. They started at 5.30 this afternoon. That game has a minute to play. Looks like the Gophers are going to suffer their second loss of the young season. Indiana with a 74-60 lead on the Gophers at Assembly Hall. That's part of our U.S. Bank scoreboard. Of course, it's a Friday night. There isn't a whole heck of a lot uh, going on on the scoreboard. Now, the Hawkeye wrestlers, number two in the country, are out in Lincoln taking on the fourth-ranked Huskers. We figured that would be a terrific match. And it has been to this point through uh, 157 pounds. Iowa leads Nor uh, uh, Nebraska 9-6. Iowa 9 and the Huskers 6. A couple of other basketball games uh, that are underway. We'll keep you posted on those as the evening wears on. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. We're committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. There are no top 25 games uh, tonight around college basketball. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. We're sponsored by U.S. Cellular as a proud sponsor of the Hawks. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. We're glad you could join us on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Uh, if you uh, uh, decided not to make the trip to Carver, and, and we know that a lot of you uh, commute from, from great distances, so we'll, we'll give you the best description we possibly can as the game wears on tonight. More of the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show coming up after this. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow greets, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! 
Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need, whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Ben Cricky uh, comes into tonight's game. Iowa's leading scorer just at right at 17 points a game, a half a dozen rebounds, uh, an outing, and uh, another young man who plays for Nebraska who uh, uh, visited about the same time Cricky did, another grad transfer, uh, Rink Mast, is having a really good year at 6-9 for uh, the Huskers. We'll give you his numbers as we get uh, closer to uh, tip-off. Well, let's give them to you now. Rink Mast, who considered Iowa, is averaging 13 points, 9 rebounds. He was at Bradley uh, at the same time Ben Cricky was at uh, Valparaiso uh, in the Missouri Valley Conference. Time now for our Hawkeye Historical Winning Moment, brought to you each game night by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Stop by today or first thing tomorrow. Hopefully the highways are clear. And get a relaxing massage at the spa. What better way to break the winter's cold than with a spa uh, visit at uh, Riverside Casino and Golf. Then have some fine dining at Ruthie's Steak and Seafood and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort located just minutes south of Iowa City. Tonight's game is the 40th all-time between Nebraska and the Hawkeyes. This dates back to 1907. Iowa's won 24 times. The Huskers 15. Now, Nebraska swept the season series a year ago, winning 66-50 out in Lincoln and 81-77 here uh, in Iowa City. First time Nebraska has swept a season series over the Hawkeyes. Iowa is 16-4 against Nebraska here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Iowa has never lost three consecutive games to uh, Nebraska. That's our Hawkeye historical winning moment. Brought to you by Riverside Casino and golf and now the Iowa City Area Sports Commission brings you the Hawkeye women's sports update from state volleyball tournaments to wrestling to tennis and much more the Iowa City Area Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life in Johnson County the Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. And you can learn more at wegotnext.org, wegotnext.org. Uh, the Hawkeye women's wrestlers uh, include Sterling Diaz. She's been named the National Wrestling Coaches Association Regional Wrestler of the Month. Congratulations, Sterling. Kylie Welker. Uh, this week was named the USA Wrestler of the Week. The Hawkeyes are set to host a double duel right here in Carver on Sunday, January 21st. That's a week from this Sunday. 
The Hawks will host Life University and Missouri Valley College in a double duel. And, of course, the Hawkeye women's basketball team ranked number three. Uh, got off, uh, uh, is off now to their best start ever through uh, the midway point of the season at 16 and 1 uh, as uh, the Hawkeyes defeated uh, Purdue last night uh, by a count of 96 to, uh, excuse me, Wednesday night, 96 to 71. Caitlin Clark, uh, the Big Ten uh, Player of the Week for the 24th time in her uh, golden, illustrious career. That surpasses former Hawkeye Megan Gustafson for the most. Uh, Caitlin uh, put up her 15th career triple-double against the Boilermakers uh, on Wednesday, and she now has 52 career games with 25 points, at least five assists, and five rebounds. Uh, that's an NCAA best. Nobody else has ever matched uh, those numbers. Caitlin Clark continues to rock and roll, and she'll need to be at her best tomorrow night. The Hawkeyes host the Indiana Hoosiers. That's number three, Iowa, against number 14, Indiana. What a battle they had here last year when Caitlin banked in the game winner at the buzzer. Let's hope it's not that di difficult uh, tomorrow, but it'll be a great game as it is uh, the last few years between these two, the Hawks and the Hoosiers. That's a... Uh, 7 o'clock uh, game, I believe. Uh, yeah, 7 o'clock, 645 for the pregame show with uh, Rob and Tiffany on the Hawkeye Radio Network. That's our Iowa women's basketball update sponsored by uh, our Iowa women's sports update sponsored by the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. Up next, we're going to visit with our, our buddy Matt Strawn from the uh, Iowa Lottery. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Join Iowa women's basketball coach Lisa Bluter and Iowa men's basketball coach Fran McCaffrey for Hawk Talk, live from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville's Iowa River Landing. Check out the schedule on HawkeyeSports.com. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online.
Matt Strong, the CEO of the Iowa Lottery, just uh, celebrated his fifth anniversary in that uh, chair, and congratulations to Matt. Uh, everybody's happy. It's a, a wintry wonderland here in Iowa. We got a lot of happy a lot of we, uh, lottery winners, uh, Matt, uh, making their way to Iowa City and Carver Hawkeye Arena this winter. Uh, what does the Iowa Lottery have planned for these winners? Tell us, sneak sneak uh, preview. Uh, it is uh, awesome, Dolph. Thanks for asking. I know you and most Iowans think of those huge jackpots and those cash prizes when they think of their lottery games that they're playing. But we also give away really cool, unique experiences right here in Iowa. And this winter, that includes an exclusive VIP experience in the Iowa Lottery Terrace inside of Carver. Men's basketball, wrestling, and of course, the sold-out, nationally-ranked Iowa women's team led by Caitlin Clark. Let me tell you what they're going to get with this experience. On the Iowa Lottery Terrace, you've got a table, you've got padded chairs, you have wait staff that comes and takes your order, brings you food, beverage, a complete first-class experience for any Hawkeye fan. Now, I know you're used to that, Dolph, but for the rest of us, you know, it's a heck of an experience. <laughs> the Countdown Carver promotion is super easy to enter. So the first thing you need to do, look for the Hawkeye Gold scratch ticket at any one of your favorite Iowa Lottery retailers. You know we've got about 2,500 of those great partners, grocery, convenience stores all around the state, and you can't miss the ticket. It's a gold ticket with a giant black tiger hawk right where you scratch. You know, think a little Hayden Fry, scratch where it itches. Well, you scratch sure. to see what your win is. You know what? And it's a $5 ticket. You can win up to $50,000 in cash. But if you don't Ooh. win any cash on the ticket, here's where it gets fun. This is where you enter the Hawkeye gold ticket for those Carver Terrace experiences. So what you need to do, join the VIP club. It's free. You need to download the Iowa Lottery app. That is free. And then once you're in the app, go back into the VIP club, go on to the drawings tab, and you'll see all those experiences. Basketball for men, women's basketball, wrestling. Just choose which one you want to enter. Scan that Hawkeye Gold ticket right there through the app. Boom. You're entered into the experience, the contest, and just sit by the phone and wait for one of those great lottery staff to call you and tell you you're headed to Carver. Matt Strawn, CEO of the Iowa Lottery. I've heard a rumor that uh, the lottery, the Iowa Lottery, has recruited a Hawkeye legend whose jersey may be retired and hanging in the uh, rafters here at Carver Hawkeye Arena just to encourage uh, encourage Iowans to, to join in this fun promotion. Uh, can you confirm or deny? Word travels fast in Hawkeye circles, uh, <laughs> so I can confirm. It's a uh, it's pretty cool experience uh, we're going to have. We've been working with Luca Garza, part of our Countdown to Carver promotion as well as one we just announced uh, to see Luca and the Timberwolves, uh, the NBA Timberwolves, play Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors from a luxury suite up in the Twin Cities in March. And for all Hawkeye fans, basketball fans, listen up. Uh, this is a different ticket. It's a $10 bonus multiplier scratch ticket. But what it gets you, two luxury suite tickets to see the T-Wolves and the Warriors play, food and water, complimentary hospitality uh, up in the suite, uh, we're going to put you up with great accommodations, one-night hotel stay in the Twin Cities, some co-branded lottery and T-Wolf swag, and we are the lottery, uh, so you're going to get about $1,000 in spending cash uh, while you're up, uh, up in the cities, too. Uh, but we're wow. having a lot of fun with Luca on this promotion, so <laughs> so keep an eye out for it. He, he's a great guy and a great uh, spokesman for us. He is the best. What Hawk fan wouldn't love uh, to uh, enjoy that experience, uh, along with the benefits of being an Iowa VIP club member. But the real beneficiaries, Matt, and we've talked about this before, uh, because of the work that you do and, and everybody else at the Iowa Lottery are those great causes in this great state of Iowa that are supported by lottery sell, uh, sales. Well, so when you buy that ticket, Dolph, when you have that $2 Powerball ticket dreaming about the jackpot, you know who really wins? It's Iowans. Uh, you know, those proceeds that come from the sale of those tickets go to awesome causes here in the state. Last year, a record $108 million went back to those causes. So thank you to all our players and retailers. It benefits things like veterans and their families here in Iowa through the Iowa Veterans Trust Fund. Uh, it helps cover insurance costs for families that have had a peace officer, a firefighter die uh, in the line of duty, and all those things that are funded by the state, education, agriculture, conservation, law enforcement. Uh, so especially on a night like tonight, uh, you know, just give a big, super Iowa lottery woohoo uh, to all those great causes that benefit from lottery proceeds. For everybody that enjoys playing the lottery, those great retailers, and I got to give a shout out. Uh, we got about 100 plus Iowa Lottery employees, many of them brave conditions like this to uh, make sure those tickets are on the shelves.
Uh, well said, uh, Matt Strawn, CEO of the Iowa Lottery. We thank all of our, our veterans and our firefighters and our health care workers. And tonight, of course, we thank and uh, uh, appreciate uh, all of our DOT workers. We think about them and uh, keep an eye out for their safety on the interstate highway systems, uh, not only the interstate, but uh, the uh, main highways um, and the country roads around Iowa where the municipalities and uh, villages and counties are also working uh, 24-7 to keep those roads open as best we can. Thank you, Iowa Lottery, one of our game sponsors for tonight. Up next, Prior to Iowa and Nebraska tipping off, we'll hear from Iowa native Fred Hoidberg, uh, the head coach of the Huskers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's be honest. We all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the eastern Iowa airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit thehotelatkirkwood.com. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat. Nice. Which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Gary Dobbin with Bobby Hanson at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Before we uh, hear from uh, Nebraska coach Fred Hoiberg, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You are listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. Welcome back to Iowa City. It's a winter wonderland here in Johnson County tonight as the Hawkeyes get set to tip off uh, at 830 against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska uh, has a quick turnaround following its victory over number one ranked Purdue on Tuesday night. One thing about the Huskers of Fred Hoiberg, this might be his best overall team, might be his most veteran team age wise. And they put to get 88-72 victory over the Boilermakers. The Huskers shot 51% from the field uh, and uh, sank 14 three-point goals. 
I think the thing that we did really well, we just we played very consistent basketball on both ends of the floor. I thought we moved it, we shared it. Uh, defensively, our guys followed the game plan very well. We got some deflections. Uh, we turned Edie over a couple times, which isn't easy to do. And the important thing was we really finished the first half. When Edie got into second foul, and we went on an 11 nothing run uh, to finish the half and, and gave us a nice little cushion because at some point, you know, Purdue's going to go on a run. And they did that. They went on a 9 nothing run, but we still had a lead because of that cushion we built at the end of the first half. So I was just really proud of how the guys went out there and competed for 40 minutes. We have an older team. I think we actually are the oldest team in the Big Ten, uh, which helps with chemistry. And it helps you through those runs and, and when adversity hits your team. And, you know, we're going to have to do that. Adversity is going to hit us every night in this league, as you know, Dolph. And, you know, you just got to go out and try to do the best job you can to put yourself in a position to have a chance. You mentioned chemistry, and, and Tominaga has been the face of the program for the last couple of years. You've got other good players, though, uh, uh, and great balance the other night. So you've got other guys stepping up. Who are you impressed with? Well, I, the couple guys we got in the in the in the portal, Rink Mast has, has been terrific for us. He had a little uh, knee procedure right after the game at Kansas State, which was a great road win for us. And he missed the next couple games and really had about two weeks where he didn't do much and then uh, threw him right back in the lineup when we played Indiana. And he was phenomenal. And I think really had about a day and a half of practice. And we probably played him a little more than we would have liked uh, just based on some foul trouble. But he didn't have any restrictions, uh, you know, as, as far as talking to the medical team. But he's, he's been really good for us, Dolph. I mean, he gives us an experienced defender. Uh, he's played a lot of basketball, not just here, but inter on the international uh, stage. And, you know, no moment is too big for him. And, and he's shown that. Bryce Williams has been another one from Charlotte uh, that we got in the transfer portal, a 6'7", very versatile uh, three-level scorer. Josiah Alec is a really hard uh, playing, uh, you know, just kind of junkyard dog type guy who's who's been giving us some really good minutes. And then some of the guys that we've got back, uh, you know, are, are playing uh, really good basketball as well. And that's helped with the chemistry and, you know, the finish that we had a year ago, uh, you know, really helped us get some of those guys. And, and everybody's gotten along very well. Everybody wants offense. Uh, I'm, I'm more impressed with your defense, 67 points allowed. But plus three and a half rebounding, and you're getting to the foul line. Yeah, it, it, you know we weren't not very good against Wisconsin on the defensive end. We had we had a solid offensive game. We shot almost 50 percent, and I think 46 from the three against Wisconsin. And you should have a chance to win the game if you put up those kind of offensive numbers. But we just were not sharp. We did not have the edge we needed to win a road game uh, in in Madison, uh, the game before Purdue. But I give our guys credit. They came in. They were resilient. They were great in the film session uh, the next morning, and then had two good days of prep. Uh, heading into that Purdue game. So, you know, it's just, again, it's a group that is very mature. And, you know, when you have that type uh, of, of guys that stick together, that, you know, fight through uh, adversity like our guys have, uh, you're going to give yourself a chance. Uh, the Hawkeyes have a new look this year, four freshmen, a couple transfers, three good solid veterans back. Uh, what about France team this year? Well, I, I really like those freshmen. I, I think he's got a great young class of players. Uh, and those guys, you know, not only they're given great minutes right now, but, you know, the future I think is very bright for this team. And, you know, I'm, I'm a huge uh, Tony Perkins fan. I think he's, uh, you know, a guy that can really get to the rack and, and finish uh, above the rim. He's a guy that can knock down shots. Peyton Sanford is playing great basketball right now, as good as any in the league as far as shooting the basketball. Um, you know, Patrick is obviously a guy that, that's, that's played a lot of uh, basketball games and, and a guy that uh, gives great versatility with his size and ability to knock down shots as well. Um, uh, you know, Bowen is, is, a, is a nice uh, player as well at the point guard spot. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with this team. And they're coming off their best performance. I was really impressed with how they played against Rutgers in their last one. Now the Hawkeyes are leading the Big Ten, averaging close to uh, 87 points a game, but Nebraska close behind at 78-79 a contest. We could have a high-scoring affair, or who plays the better defense tonight? Thanks to Fred Hoiberg, as always, for his candor and comments on our Hawkeye pregame show. United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics have teamed up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Congratulations to this week's winner, Whip It Good Catering, located down in Indianola, providing catering in central Iowa as well as family style. Home cooked freezer meals available for purchase at the Indianola Hy-Vee. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Iowa Hawkeye Athletics. And it's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh, everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Up next, we'll chat with Hawkeye head coach Fran McCaffrey, presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. It's Iowa, Nebraska, tonight from Carver. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. 
someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment, committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care, and service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment, knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This is Gary Dolphin. Lennox has been building furnaces and air conditioners here in Iowa since 1895. And Lennox dealers have been selling and installing these high-efficiency Lennox products for just as long. When you call 72 Degrees Comfort Company in Ankeny and the Des Moines metro area, you know you're calling one of the best names in the indoor comfort business. Dave Lennox knows that when you turn to 72 Degrees, your home will be exceptionally comfortable. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and 72 Degrees. Lennox, 72 Degrees, and the Hawkeyes. That's a winning combination. A rare Friday night Big Ten basketball game and wintry at that here in Iowa City as the Hawkeyes get set to host the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska's won back-to-back games against Iowa. The Huskers have never beaten Iowa three straight. Time to hear from the head hawk, uh, Fran McCaffrey. He's brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including our, our friends at Van Wall Equipment in Green. The Hawks are top 10, eighth to be exact, nationally in taking care of the basketball. Iowa has a 1.85 assist to turnover ratio. That's off the charts and a big reason why the offense has been so efficient for Coach McCaffrey. Really an amazing stat given the Hawks' pace of play. It is, and I think that's the key to it all. You, you can't play fast if you're turning the ball over and you're taking bad shots. And there's a fine line, Dolph, because... You know, if you push it quickly and you have a really good shot, you take it. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you have to go the complete opposite direction and say, all right, we got it down the floor. There's nothing there. Now we make them play defense. We move it side to side, try to break the defense down. So sometimes in that situation, longer possessions are good. So you know, the key is to score early or score late. But in both cases, make good decisions. How about freshman uh, Owen Freeman, Fran? Uh, Big Ten freshman of the week again for a fifth time. That's a school record. He averaged 14 points, eight and a half rebounds, and a couple block shots uh, at Wisconsin and home with Rutgers. Uh, he, he brings the whole the whole uh, game to the table. Uh, but what part of his uh, uh, development uh, maybe has come a little bit faster than you expected? I think his consistency. I mean, I. Th- you know, you have a talented guy like him. You figure, okay, he'll, he'll play well sometimes. But what he's done is he's been able to do it every night. He doesn't panic out there. He plays at his pace. 
He's got a good feel for the game. He's a very good athlete for his size. He runs the floor extremely well. He's in great shape. And I think the beautiful part of it is, you know, as he continues to play well, he continues to gain more and more confidence. He, uh, his outstanding play has uh, helped provide a, a balanced offensive attack. Five players are uh, averaging at least 10 points, Coach. Uh, ben Crickey's 17 a game is pacing that group. Uh, so you've got to be pleased with the, with the way the Hawks have spread the ball around. And I think that's important for our team and for how we play. Uh, you know, Owen's development has really been helpful to Ben. Those two guys play well together. It frees Ben up to play a little more at the four spot. We have another other weapons, you know, with obviously Peyton Sanford, Patrick, and Tony. But you know, when we go to the bench, we have other guys that can score. You know, I thought Josh Dix played really well the other night when Patrick did not play. The Sante Bowen's been scoring the ball. Brock Harding's been really good. Uh, Price Sanford is another guy that, you know, has been scoring the ball when we give him an opportunity. And, uh, and Lodgy as well. He gives us another big guy who is not only a really good rebounder, but can dribble, pass, and shoot. What stood out to you uh, about um, uh, the Huskers win over Purdue the other night? Uh, I guess we could start with 14 made threes. Huh? Well, that's a good place to start. But I think the thing that's more impressive than that, Dolph, is they had seven different guys make them. And it wasn't just two or three guys. So that makes you really hard to guard. But I think the key to the whole thing is Rink Mass, the five man. He's the trigger man. What they run their five out offense, he's the guy they enter the ball to. He's dribbling the ball, passing the ball. He's second on the team in assists. When your five man's are second on the team in assists, that makes him hard to guard. Coach, they're all, and uh, due in large part to Rink Mass, they're plus three and a half on the glass. Uh, that, that has gotten your attention, I'm sure. Well, he's an elite rebounder, but Jawan Gary's a really good player, too. Remember last year, we played them up there. He played really well. He had 14 and 9, and then he got hurt and didn't play against us. He actually didn't play better part of half the season last year. And then, of course, they've got the Williams kid uh, transferred from Charlotte, who's a terrific player. So they've got a lot of different guys that, that really are producing at a high level. Then you take a guy like C.J. Wilcher, uh, who comes off the bench has always given us problems. He was terrific in the Purdue game, and of course, Tominaga is our leading scorer. And ironically, uh, the Hawks' defense has been really good on Tominaga the last year or so. Yeah, you know, and 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 the first year he just he wasn't as effective. He, you know, he was figuring it out. And and last year, about midway through the season, he started to become an elite player in our league. And then this year, he has continued that. He's just a handful. The offense that Fred runs is perfectly suited for him, and they do a good job getting him the ball. Coach, good luck tonight. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it, Dolph. Yeah, Casey uh, Tomanaga, uh, C.J. Wilcher, uh, Jawan Gary, the transfer rink mass to uh, Iowa had in for a visit. Uh, they've got uh, four or five guys averaging between 12 and 16 points. It's been a very uh, efficient offense for the Huskers of Fred Hoiberg as well. Our pregame visit with Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey has been sponsored by Van Wall Equipment. Nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wall Equipment. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder when you run with Van Wall and John Deere. In just a minute, Bobby Hansen has his club car wash keys to victory for the Hawkeyes tonight against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska 13 and 3. The Hawkeyes come in 9 and 6. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. 
Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at UIHC.org. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow greets, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel and Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Border State battle. The Nebraska Cornhuskers flew into uh, uh, Cedar Rapids yesterday afternoon ahead of the storm, and they've been here for more than 24 hours. Uh, the Hawks, of course, have been uh, uh, lingering around all day, as as has, as has North, uh, Nebraska. Nowhere to go in this mess, and... They're both out there jumping around, as Bobby Hansen will tell you now with his keys to the game. Club Car Wash keys to the game, sponsored by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Club Car Wash, you'll need Club Car Wash in the next few days when this stuff clears out of here. Club Car Wash has unlimited membership starting at just 20 bucks a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com. Find a location nearest you. Uh, Freddie Hoiberg, uh, he, he'll he'll run on occasion, but his his break's a little different than the Hawkeyes, Bobby. Yeah, it is. But to your first point, Garrett, guys laying around all day, 8.30 tip, uh, you got to come here and create some energy. Uh, who can get off to the best start, I think, will go a long way toward victory. So obviously not going to be a lot of fans in here. There's maybe more than I figured there There's would be more than here. I thought I'd show up. <laughs> yeah, way so, to go, Hawk fans. Way to go. So uh, just like the, the game against Rutgers, we got to get out quick. Get after Nebraska on the defensive end. Get your running game going early. Nebraska Right now, playing with great confidence, so off to their best start in their Big Ten era. So you gotta gotta clip them early and don't give them any confidence. They can come in here and get you here tonight. The second key uh, we talked about all pregame is the three-point line. Nebraska phenomenal versus uh, Purdue, shooting 61% from deep, making 14 of 23 threes in that game. You cannot allow that type of three-point shooting here tonight. So try to keep them to about half that, maybe seven or less three-point field goals made. The Hawks, if see if we can. Heated up from deep. Peyton Sanford playing with a lot of confidence right now. Casey Tomanaga is the man on Nebraska's team. You have to know where he is at always. He is on a tear right now. Almost 50% three-point shooting here in the month of January. Averaging over 21 points a game for the little guy. The little lefty from uh, Japan. So get to Casey Tomanaga early. Third key for me is going to be the free throw line. you got to keep Nebraska off the line playing without fouling. They are a 75% free throw shooting at team uh, as a, as a team, and they attack you off the dribble. You got to close out that three point line under control. Don't foul them. And Iowa, conversely, Gary, you got to attack them and win the free throw battle here tonight. Get to the line and make them. Both teams get to the foul line a lot. Nebraska's averaging nine and a half made threes. I'm with you. Keep that number down around seven. You got a great chance to win the game. Those are Bobby's Club Car Wash keys to a Hawkeye victory tonight over Nebraska here at Carver. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-sweet hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, hot tub, 
guest laundry and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. I'm sure the hotels, including the Homewood around Iowa City and Coralville, were jammed last night and tonight. But uh, that's what they're there for. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Up next, the Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmers State Bank tip-off. That's straight ahead. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Lurfield. To the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wigan Pen in Ankeny across from DMAC is proud to be the home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza. The Wig has all your favorites, including thin crust and Chicago-style pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches, pints of beer, plus a full bar. And this family-friendly local favorite is hiring. All ages are encouraged to apply from 15 to 115. Flexible hours and a fun environment? Call or just come on in. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny. What are you craving? Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Hawkeye Basketball from Iowa City. Snowy, windy, icy Iowa City. Thank you, snowplow drivers, for getting us here safe and sound tonight for Iowa and Nebraska. Right now, the starting lineups are brought to you by Mid-American Energy, making reliability a slam dunk. Got to have power, and Mid-American Energy is right there for you uh, in uh, events like this, this uh, near-record-setting uh, snowfall. Uh, Mid-American Energy with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you can count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. For Nebraska and head coach Fred Hoiberg, already in his fifth year, uh, and no doubt his best team, his best balanced team. Huskers are 13 and 3, 3 and 2 in the conference. Uh, they've beaten Michigan State, uh, a quality win there. They've lost at Wisconsin and at Minnesota, op to open the Big Ten season. Of course, knocked off number one Purdue the other night, averaging 78 points, giving up 68 on the year. They'll start at a guard, Bryce Williams, 6'7", junior from Huntersville, North Carolina. He's at 13.6 rebounds. Jawan Geary, uh, excuse me, Jamarcus Lawrence will be at a guard, 6'3", sophomore from Plainfield, New Jersey. He's at six points, four rebounds, three assists. Jawan Geary, a 6'6", junior, transferred in from Alabama a year ago. Uh, he's 220 pounds, averages 12.6 boards. He is a load at 6'6", Juwan Gary. Of course, there's Keisei Tominaga, the 6'2", senior from Japan and Ranger Community College. Nebraska's leading scorer at 15 points, a couple rebounds. And Rink Mast, the junior transfer in from uh, Bradley, native of the Netherlands, 6'10", 250. He'll be at the post, averaging 13 points. And right near the top of the Big Ten rebounding stats at nine a game. He's also assisting three times on average, so he can find an open teammate. C.J. Wilcher, Fred's son Sam Hoiberg uh, will both come off the bench, as will uh, Josiah Aulick, a grad transfer from New Mexico. For the Hawkeyes, nine and six, one and three in conference play. Hawks are putting up 87 points a game, giving up 78. Fran McCaffrey in his 14th year. Two wins shy of catching 
the Hall of Famer Tom Davis for the most wins in Iowa basketball history. Tony Perkins will go at a guard. How well has he been playing uh, here of late? 14 points, four rebounds a game for the senior from Indianapolis. Also at a guard, Peyton Sanford, 6'7", uh, a junior from Waukee at 14.7 rebounds a game. Patrick McCaffrey back in the starting lineup. Uh, off that illness, good to see P-Mac back, averaging 10 points, 3 rebounds. The Hawks can use his size inside. 6'9", 212 out of Iowa City West. Ben Cricky at a forward. 6'9", grad transfer, 240-pounder. Iowa's leading scorer, 17 points and 6 boards. And Owen Freeman, the Big Ten Freshman of the Week, 6'10", 230-pound freshman from Moline High School at 10 points and 6 rebounds a game. Hawks will uh, bring uh, Josh Dix. Uh, Desante Bowen, Price Sanford, uh, Brock Harding, and Lodgy Dembele off the bench. Those are the starting lineups courtesy of MidAmerican Energy. MidAmericanEnergy.com uh, if you need to find out more about uh, our wonderful sponsors like MidAmerican Energy. The Farmer State Bank tip-off of Iowa-Nebraska is coming up. We're finally going to play basketball. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe in a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. Is a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball. By your local Ford dealers. 
and buy. Authentic brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 54 and a foul. You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. A long day laying around the hotel for these players watching the snowflakes blown straight sideways. And now uh, on top of that, a late starting tip time at 837, we're told. Uh, we're waiting for the Iowa wrestling match to conclude, ironically, out in Lincoln. Where number two Iowa leads number four Nebraska as they go to the heavyweight match. It's 19 to 10 Hawkeyes. So they've got things uh, safely in hand as uh, the two heavyweights, Nash uh, Huttmacher of Nebraska, takes on Bradley Hill of Iowa. Two big question marks in the Iowa and Nebraska lineups this year uh, were the uh, competitors at heavyweight. It'll, it'll sort itself out, especially when. Ben Keeter is ready to go. We're ready to play basketball. The Hawkeyes and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Our opening tip is sponsored by Farmer's State Bank. Farmer's State Bank earned $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. My or visit myfsbonline.com. Myfsbonline.com for complete details subject to approval. $50 minimum deposit. And we need, uh, it requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Now let's enjoy our national anthem sung by Amy Flanders. By Amy Flanders. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the worth the trip out just to hear her it's a wintry night <laughs> warm up the crowd great job by amy flanders hawks have been on a roll with some outstanding performances on the national anthem uh, this season and now we're going to play some basketball the hawkeyes and the huskers again for iowa tony perkins and peyton sanford at the guards patrick mccaffrey ben Cricky, and owen freeman inside for the Huskers, Bryce Williams and Kese Tomananga at the uh, guard spots. Jawan Gary and Jamarcus Lawrence at the forwards. Now, we just saw Lawrence getting two of his fingers heavily taped together, so that, that could be a factor in his ability to score or to shoot the basketball. Rink mast at 6'10", 250 pounds. The forward out of the Netherlands by way of uh, Bradley University. Out of the uh, transfer portal, he will go at the post. The Hawkeyes now will be introduced officially and will be uh, underway. That Hawkeye wrestling match on uh, the U.S. Bank scoreboard remains 19-10 Iowa. They're in the heavyweight match right now. And let's see, we have a score. one nothing uh, Nebraska. Nebraska heavyweight with a one nothing lead. And they're in the uh, third period. 
just starting the third period. So Bradley Hill trails uh, Huttmacher one to nothing. Also on the U.S. Bank scoreboard, they've gone final uh, down in Bloomington. Indiana knocked off Minnesota in the first game of a doubleheader, Big Ten doubleheader this evening. 74-62 at Assembly Hall. The Hoosiers uh, defeat the Gophers. Iowa plays at Minnesota on Martin Luther King holiday Monday afternoon. That's a, that's a 4 o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock uh, tip time. Uh, our coverage starts at four o'clock. Uh, Pre-game uh, coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network. 74-62. Minnesota loses tonight. Khalil Ware had uh, 17 points, 14 rebounds for the Hoosiers, who led it 41-31 at the half and won it by 12. 74-62. Fer- Feral Payne had 17 points. For uh, Minnesota, Gophers and Ben Johnson off to a good start uh, yeah. this year, Bobby. Certainly a huge improvement over uh, uh, the struggles that uh, Ben had the first couple years, just getting that program in, in position and posture. Of course, it doesn't help when you lose uh, a lot of good players like he has to the transfer portal. Most no- noted, uh, most notably, Jamison Battle, who's now at Ohio State. Yeah, he's doing well at uh, Ohio State, but uh, he's he got Dawson Garcia in that starting lineup, and I believe uh, the kid Farrell Payne tonight uh, off the bench with the team leading 17 points. Payne's been playing well. Uh, uh, Garcia was scoreless at halftime. You know, he's had a history of injuries. They could keep him healthy. Uh, Minnesota will be a factor. Uh, uh, this season. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by our friends at Quick Star. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any Quick Star location. Fueled up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick Star, proud partner of Hawkeye basketball. Coach McCaffrey uh, now has the all-time uh, conference win total record here at Iowa with 127. He's too shy of uh, too shy now of Dr. Tom Davis for the most wins period in Iowa basketball history. And Tom usually gives us a listen on game night. And uh, Tom, if you're listening, uh, hope you're, you and Sherry are doing well. You're here. One of my all-time favorite people. What a gentleman Dr. Tom Davis is and uh, has held that record for a lot of years there, Gary. And uh, in his nine years here at the University of Iowa, Fran McCaffrey about to break that all-time winning record. uh, Right now, the all-time winning Big Ten coach, Coach McCaffrey. What a putter. (laughs) What a player. What a putter Tom Davis is. Uh, I, call him, play I call him chink mine because he's, he's out there every day in the spring and summer hitting balls. All right. The Hawkeyes uh, have defeated Nebraska in wrestling 22 to 10. So uh, good job. Uh, heavyweight. Bradley Hill defeats Huttmacher. And our FSB Farmer State Bank tip off is complete. The Hawks get the uh, basketball to start the game. McCaffrey has it in the near corner. Nebraska man-to-man out of the gate. Here's Peyton Sanford with the catch. Top of the key left. Now to Perkins. Tony sidestep to his left. Now free throw line. Cricky turns, shoots, and no good. Rebounded by Owen Freeman. Up and in. That's what he does. Nice job. Got inside a rink math. And with the shot going up by Ben Cricky from the free throw line. Owen first off his feet. Gets the offensive rebound and put back. That's huge. Second chance points. That'll be big tonight for the Hawkeyes. Here's a jump pass to Mast in the lane. He muscles by Cricky and lays it up and in. He just threw a shoulder into Ben and he was off to the races. Tie game at two. Not quite a minute gone. Here's a jump shot. Sanford, no good short. Tip though to Cricky. Peyton's open for three. That's wide right and taken away by Nebraska. So Marcus Lawrence clears, brings it down himself. He's just 6'3", but he can really get off the floor. Now to Bryce Williams. Now a set shot three is no good by uh, Bryce Williams. Good block out by Cricky. McCaffrey gets the rebound. 2-2 game. 18-48 to play first half. Here's Owen Freeman with a catch. Spin move. Drives around the big guy Mass, but then it's blocked from the weak side, and now a holding foul. Holding foul on Iowa as Nebraska was running out. Who got that block on, uh, on Owen the Freeman? Offside. I missed that. Yeah, uh, it was a, number three. Uh, it could have. I'm not sure. Blocked by Juwan Gary, number four. He got up quick. 
He sure did. Fouled on McCaffrey. Stopped the fast break. Sure did. And now Nebraska shoots for the lead. Here's Gary. Stand still three on the way. No good in and out. That's a good sign. Nebraska over its first two. That one missed by Lawrence. The Hawks hustling into the front court. Patrick McCaffrey with a skip pass right of the lane to Owen Freeman. He's looking for Cricky inside. Ben has it baseline right. Dribbles away from pressure. Chased by Bryce Williams. Here's Peyton Sanford, far corner. Oh, he's knocked wow. sideways, no whistle. Oh, the guy standing right there and swallowed the whistle. Cricky for jump shooting a two from 17 feet, and down it goes. Ben gives Iowa the lead at 4-2. Uh, 18.03 to go. You can see what Nebraska's going to do when Owen Freeman gets the ball on the block. They're going to come with a quick double team. That's where Cricky made himself available at the free throw line area for the 15-foot jumper. Mast has it right of the circle. Leaves it for Bryce Williams. Now to Tomanaga. He finally touches the ball. Here's a wing jump shot. No good. 0 for 3 from distance are the Huskers. Juwan Gary's 0 for 2. Perkins brings it back for the Hawkeyes after a rebound. Patrick McCaffrey's open for 3 and splash down. Hawkeyes out 7-2 over Nebraska. Emac looking good, feeling good, he told us prior to the game here when he was warming up, and that one shot it with confidence. Straight up and down, catch and shoot three, Patrick. Lawrence with a waist-high bounce of the basketball, walks it across the midcourt stripe, throws it to Tomanaga. He's covered up by Peyton Sanford. Mast has it. He's got their only basket. Bad pass by Williams, deflected. Stolen away by Owen Freeman. Hawks got numbers. Now they hold up. Perkins trailing. Shoots a three. No good. Right rebound run down in the corner by Cricky. And a holding foul is called on Nebraska. The officials tonight are Ron Groover is the referee. Doug Sermons and Kip Kissinger. Kissinger are the uh, umpires. I'm glad that we were worried about the officials getting here today. Everybody getting here. Yeah. Three minutes gone, opening half. It's 7 2, Iowa. Make it 9 2. On the inbounds catch from the underneath out of bounds play, Peyton Sanford with a jump hook on the right baseline. About 12 feet, nicely done. No need to put it on the floor. Just come off a screen right there from 12 feet away. And Peyton with the push two put the Hawkeyes up 9 2. Yeah, Hawks out by seven. Here's another standstill three. No good. 0 for 4 is Nebraska. Freeman scrapes the glass. Owen brings it down himself. Now to McCaffrey. Patrick's got a three in his hip pocket. Dribbles right wing, leaves it for Cricky. High post right, right back to McCaffrey. Drives through the lane, back to Cricky. Sanford for three, it's good. Ready, Hoiberg wants his team to get going. It's 12-2. That's his Huskers running into the front court. They're a little bit uh, sideways right now. Williams leaves it for Jawan Gary. Here's a, a charging foul out of control. Gary handed the ball off to Bryce Williams and stumbled into an Iowa defender, and he's called for the foul. That's his second. Second foul. He'll have to come out of the game for the uh, super sub, Josiah Alec, transferred from New Mexico, coming in. But what a great start here by the Hawkeyes. 12-2 uh, to start the game on a 10-0 run over the last minute, 55. 16 5 to play. Hawks can take it down under the uh, first official timeout barrier and hopefully get a score. Patrick for three. That one's short. Could Line drive it up there, rebounded by Bryce Williams. It's 12-2 Iowa. Williams on a crossover dribble, gets inside. Baseline left, wants mask. A bounce, Freeman trying to guard up on him. Big guy goes around him, misses the jump shot. Tip no good. Tip up, missed by Alec, who's 6-8. Hawks clear. Nebraska ice cold, and the Hawks try to take advantage. McCaffrey puts the ball on the floor, drives in, scores with a running hook shot. Timeout, Nebraska. Yeah, good, good find that time. Patrick turned down the three-pointer, went hard to the basket with the right hand and got hit in the head and still made the, the basket. Patrick off to a good start. Welcome back, Patrick McCaffrey. And he got two big baskets, five of the Hawkeye, 14 points. 14-2, to two, Iowa. Much like it started against Rutgers last week. The Hawkeyes on a 12-0 run. Iowa has scored on five of seven, five of its last seven uh, possessions. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Mid-American Energy. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace, seal up drafts around your home. And visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. They're there for you, even at the coldest of times. And we're certainly in the deep freeze this weekend. Mid-American Energy. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Walmart Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... 
the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making health care better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Hawkeyes out to a 14-2 advantage on Nebraska. Four and a half minutes into the game, Iowa 6 for 12, Nebraska 1 for 6. Uh, Iowa's post defense has been spectacular, Bobby, to this point. Yeah, led by Owen Freeman in there, just holding his ground in there, chesting up on rank mast and uh, getting a little help from Ben Cricky in there and then the rebounding support from uh, Peyton Sanford and Patrick McCaffrey. But the Hawks, 6 out of 12 to start the game and a three-point defense outstanding, 0 for 4 for Nebraska. Husker basketball, uh, Iowa will employ the 1-2-2. Two, two. Nebraska has to bring it all the way down the floor. Huskers have gone uh, almost four minutes without a score. Then in the deep freeze for 345. Bryce Williams gets it inbound to C.J. Wilcher. Now he's hurt the Hawkeyes in the past, so they need to guard him and Sanford's chasing him around. Tomanaga is out of the game. Sam Hoiberg is in. The coach's son. There's a handoff now to Josiah Alec. Fred's had to go to his bench deep here to start the game. Ten to shoot. Nebraska can't find an opening. They're looking inside for Mass, but nothing doing. Here's a stop and go move. Now pull up jumper. No good by Williams. Long arms of Owen Freeman. Rebounds the basketball. Hawkeyes dominating on the glass as well. One and done for the Huskers. 14.58 to play in the first half. Iowa leads it 14-2. McCaffrey looking inside now to Sanford on the wing. Tony Perkins is open for three. No good. Boy, it looked good all the way. Rebound kicks along to Sam Hoiberg. And the sophomore brings it down for the Huskers. Hands off to Wilcher. Mass sets a screen. Wilcher pull up three. No good. Freeman with another rebound. Hawks controlling the glass. Perkins hustles into the front court. Peyton Sanford stands still three. Good. Coming off a screen, I think, from Cricky. Good, great execution. There. Really good execution. And when that man gets that look in his eye, you got to find him, get him the basketball. Another three made by Peyton Sanford. 17 to 2, Iowa. And here's a nice backdoor cut and a layup. No good. A layup attempt, no good, but a foul on Iowa. C.J. C. J. Wilcher with a great move, a head fake to the wing, cut to the baseline, and a nice bounce pass found him. He'll get two free throws, but uh, the Hawks deny the basket. Yeah, Wilcher, one of the top six men in the Big Ten. Uh, he's capable of going off for big numbers and uh, put him at the free throw line, make him earn it here. First foul, Ben Cricky. The junior from Plainfield, New Jersey, transferred in from Xavier. Hits the first free throw. C.J. at 91%, so you want to keep him off the line. Nebraska goes smaller now as Williams comes out. Tom uh, Tomanaga back in, so they've got Hoiberg, Tomanaga, and C.J. Wilcher all in the guard court. He makes both free throws. And Nebraska ends the 17 zip run by uh, the Hawkeyes, 15-0, I guess. Hawks scored the first basket. Nebraska tied it up. 17-4. Here's Peyton Sanford. Has the ball. Scraped away by Hoiberg. Nice steal. And Tomodaga races out and lays it up and in. First points off turnovers. Hawks are quickly back into the front court now. Patrick McCaffrey has it taken away. 
Double team by him. Tobinaga scraped that one away. He uh, wanted oh, to put up down. a three and came down after a Hawk defender got a hand in his face. He had nowhere to go, tried to pass, but kept the ball because nobody was in the passing lane. Alert defense that time. Tony Perkins went up to defend the three-point shot, forced the turnover on Tominaga. Josh Dix replaces McCaffrey in the lineup for the Hawkeyes. Good start for Patrick, though, with a three and a two. Two turnovers on each team. 13-39 to play in the first half. Iowa 17, Nebraska 6. Huskers have come out with two free throws and a layup. Out of the call, timeout. But Iowa with a double-digit lead. Perkins, he's missed his first couple looks. Here's Peyton Sanford now, bodied up on by Hoiberg. Dix to Cricky. Back to Peyton. Catch and release. No good. A little bit strong. Rebounded by Nebraska. Peyton's missed his last two tries. And with the rebound, Eli Rice into the game. Here's Tomanaga. Drives through the lane. Throws to the wing to Rice. Rice drives around Cricky and scores. They're going to the basket now. A nice move by Eli Rice, a freshman. 6'8 out of Tennessee. Widely heralded recruit in high school. So Nebraska's run in six straight. It's 17-8, Iowa. Dix around a Cricky screen. Right back to Ben. Shot fake. He drives into the lane. Throws to the wing. Here's Dix. Dix drives inside. Pull-up jumper. Rims and comes out. Boy, he did everything but make the basket. And the rebound to C.J. Wiltshire. Ahead for Tomanaga. He's doubled. Somebody's open. On the wing, it's Rice. Stand still. Three. No good. Sanford with a board. Hawks running the other way. 12.30 to go. Oh. And Sanford almost threw it away. Freeman goes and gets it. Shot up and good. What body control. A little double dip in midair. Was coming down with a ball and flipped it up and in and drew contact. Yeah, he took the contact in. it. This shows that kid just getting stronger, more confident with his game. But I like how the Hawks found him inside. In between two Cornhusker defenders, Owen Freeman completes the play. A couple baskets for Owen and now a chance for an and one. Iowa 19, Nebraska 8. Cricket he is relieved of duty for the moment. Fouled on C.J. Wiltshire. His first. Owens free throw short. Off the front of the rim. Laji Dembele into the game, by the way, for Cricky. So the score holds at 19-8 Iowa. 12-19 to play in the half. Hoiberg. Coach's son, he's having a good, solid start to his year. Here's Wiltshire with a catch of a bounce pass. Tony Perkins right there on the catch. Out of Hoiberg. Here's Ulrich with it. Splits a double team, drives baseline left. Now leans into the paint, backs in on Freeman. And as he went up for the shot, Owen knocked it away from him. Nice block by Freeman. 12.01 to go. First half. Hawkeyes with a lead of 19 to 8. Good attentive defense, too, by the Hawkeyes. They have not allowed a three point field goal. Nebraska shot at 60% the other night. They're 0 for 6. Start this one. Five seconds to shoot. Hoiberg brings it in to Rice. He's going to have to force something up. No, he drives around Freeman and scores. Wow. This guy just comes off the bench and he scored two layups. Freshman. 19 10. Averages four. He's got four. Here's Dix. Way out in the left wing. Had the shot. Passed it up. Guarded by Rice. Now DeSante Bowen just into the game. Holds up right of the circle. Peyton shoots. Misses again from three. Rebound run down in the corner by Nebraska's C.J. Wilcher. Sanford 0 for his last three. Tomanaga, his first three. No good. That's way, way out there. The ball knocked away from uh, DeSante Bowen. Out of bounds. Touched last by Josiah Ulrich. Good effort by Ulrich. But it hits the sideline of the Hawkeyes. Go to the timeout leading 19 to 10 with 11.25 to play in the first half. Great pace by both teams up and down the floor. Nebraska 4 of 13. The Hawks are 8 of 18 and 3 of 9 from distance. Nebraska 0 for 7 after hitting 14 threes against Purdue. Well, March is a great time to schedule your vasectomy, guys. The expert urologist at the University of Iowa Healthcare specializes in both standard and minimally invasive vasectomy procedures. This March, get benched and recover in front of the television with your radio next to you. Schedule your appointment now. Visit uihc.org slash appointment. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Wellmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and Learfield. 
Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. 11.25 to play in the first half here at Carver. Late Friday night basketball. Like what we're seeing so far. Iowa 19 Nebraska 10, and there's uh, plenty of positives on the stat sheet, Bobby. Yeah, start with the uh, start of the game. Uh, the Hawks hit the first basket by Owen Freeman. Uh, Rink Mass scored, and then the Hawkeyes rattled off 15-0 run right there to extend that lead to 17-2 after the second Peyton Sanford three-point uh, field goal made. Uh, they're attentive. They got energy. They're helping out on defense. I love their post defense, and uh, they're not allowing any three-point field goals made to this point. 0 for 7 are the Cornhuskers. Well, the Huskers have had some clean looks, too. But for the most part, Iowa doing an outstanding job defensively. We're back to action. Hawks leading 19 to 10 and with the ball. Dembele for Peyton Sanford. See if we can get Peyton going again. He's three for seven. Two three-point goals and five attempts. 12 to shoot. Bowen. Nebraska in a zone? Looks like a zone, huh? A bit of a matchup. And the Hawks throw it away. Lazy pass. A run-out dunk for Ulrich. Now two points off turnovers. Has been an issue for Iowa here in the last couple minutes. Nebraska back to within seven. That's as close as they've been in a while. Here's uh, Dix drives in deep. Now to Sanford to Dix. His deep three is short. Rebounded tipped by oh. Dembele, but over the back is Lodgy Dembele. Yeah, Lodgy, good hustle. With those long arms, and uh, Nebraska comes back with the basketball. Down seven. Substitution for... Uh, Nebraska back in the game is C.J. Wilcher. He came out briefly. Hawkeyes send Cricky back in. A little more beef inside. Here's Tomananga. He has yet to get going. Good defense by Iowa on him. He's got the ball now. Dix guarding him. A bounce high post right to Ulrich. Ulrich really produced off the bench the grad transfer from New Mexico. Hoiberg is stripped of the ball by Bowen. Dix comes away with a theft. Looks for a, a trailer. Can't find anybody. Got it to Bowen. As Josh was surrounded by a couple red shirts. 10-13 to play first half. Iowa 19. Nebraska 12. Hawks have been stuck on 19. Here's Dembele right of the lane. Double team. Looks for help. Throws it to Bowen. 10 to shoot. Cricky top of the circle. Nebraska's increased its defensive intensity. Here's Peyton Sanford with another missed shot. Tough shot going to his right. And Nebraska, down. Nebraska turns Iowa away again. Here's a stop and go move and another layup by this Eli Rice. What a, a boost he's given him off the bench. Yeah, yeah, production off the bench. Uh, that's six points for ten, him. Isn't it? Ten total, six points for him, ten total off the bench. Here's a corner three on the way. No good air ball by Bowen. And Nebraska's got the rebound and now the momentum. And they were down 15 to start the game. There's a backdoor catch by Ulrich. He muscles his shot up. No good. I think Cricky got a piece of that. Gets the rebound back and then is fouled oh. by Ben Cricky. And Ulrich. Alec. Yeah, yeah, Josiah Alec. He is a, that's a tough, tough guy inside. Uses a big, broad shoulders and covers up a lot of space. Two fouls on Cricky now, so Ben's going to have to come out with 
9.18 to go in the half. As the Hawks will go to the bench, Tony Perkins, Owen Freeman will come back in. Brock Harding will also uh, report in along with Patrick McCaffrey. But first, two free throws for Olick. He stayed with it and was going up for his third try inside when he got fouled. Misses the first free throw, 67% from the foul line. Eight Sanford and uh, Bowen. Dembele and Cricky all exit. One more free throw coming from Malik. It's 19-14. Hawkeye lead is five with 9-18 to go on the half. Hawks had a little scoring drought here. Just one of their last seven. And oh, for the last four. Malik right, missed both free throws. Thank you. Yeah, very much. Here's McCaffrey from Harding. So the Hawks need good execution on this possession. Tony Perkins has yet to find the range. He muscles his way inside. Throws it to Dix high post right. Josh drives it left of the lane to Freeman. Boy, I tell you, there's contact out there. Nebraska shoving him out of the lane. Seven to shoot. And a dunk inside by Freeman off a beautiful feed from Tony Perkins. Yeah, a scramble defense that time by Nebraska. Caught him, and Tony Fr Tony Perkins there found the uh, the open Owen Freeman for the dunk. Tomanaga for three. No good. Rebound tipped out by Freeman, but right to Nebraska's C.J. Wilcher. They get another shot at it. Rice with a three ball from, he is from the right the wing. <laughs> Nine points for this freshman who averages four. 8.25 to go. It's a four-point game. Iowa 21, Nebraska 17. Well, that lead melted in a hurry. Iowa scored 15 straight, led it 17-2. to two. And Nebraska's been on a roar and a run since then. Here's a pitch into the corner to Brock Harding. His push-up jumper way short. Nebraska with a rebound and numbers. Two on one the other way. Rice goes in and misses the dunk. Short string the dunk attempt. The freshman, a learning moment at the other end. Freeman dunks off the Iowa break. Another beautiful assist by Tony Perkins. 23-17 Iowa. Off the mistake by uh, Rice, who hasn't made many mistakes here, but he missed that dunk, and the Hawks are off to the races, and a pretty fine Tony Perkins to Owen Freeman. Well, he tried to dunk in heavy traffic, and here's a dunk by Ulrich. Now, there is the Ole defense on the baseline by Iowa there. It's Ulrich. Well, this bench for Nebraska has been... The difference maker for keeping the Huskers close. 23-19. Iowa by four. 7-24 to play. End-to-end -end action. We thought it might be like this, but even uh, more of a pace than I thought. Patrick McCaffrey's got a couple big baskets. Jump passes to Freeman. It hit the rim, but goes right to Harding. Here's a shot, and no good. Freeman tips the rebound, but can't control it. And it's taken away by Bryce Williams. Hawkeyes hustle back on defense. Bryce Williams all the way. Scores off the glass. Tough shot. I've never seen so many layups. Tough shot. Yeah, the Hawks got to stop the basketball. By Nebraska. You're right. Stop the basketball. It's a two-point game. 23-21. Dix for three. Oh, well timed. Wow, was that big. Iowa back up five, 26-21. And hopefully starting a run of their own. Young man from Council Bluff just over the border there from Nebraska. Showed him what he's got there with his first long-range three. Tomanaga with the basketball. He's one for three. And here's Alec, another dunk inside. I don't know what happened there. I think the Hawks went for the steal on the bounce pass. Yeah, Owen Freeman went for the steal. And Alec has played 10 minutes and has six points. Here's Perkins. 26-23. Iowa's lead is three. Harding penetrates down the left side of the lane. Scoop layup is good. Got a nice screen from Freeman on the way. That broke him free to the rim. And Brock, jet quick with the ball in his hands, makes it 28-23 Iowa. 5.59 to play. Here's a pass and another layup. Tomanaga. Inside. Who was it? Tomanaga. Tomanaga. He beat Brock Harding on the back cut. I had four guys standing in front of me. Sorry about that. 28-25, a back cut and another layup by Nebraska. It's 28-25, Iowa. Harding on crossover on Alec, who's 6-8. Brock throws up a wild shot, rebounded by McCaffrey, and a foul called to reach on Bryce Williams. So we'll, we'll come to the officials' timeout with the Hawks still in the lead, but by only three. Got a game. You, you knew Nebraska was going to make a comeback. Being, from being down 17 to 2, and man, have they ever. Iowa led 17 2 in the game's first five minutes. Now, five and a half minutes to play in the.
first period, and it's 28-25, Iowa. Hawkeye basketball brought to you tonight by our friends at U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. And at the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. This is Hawkeye Basketball, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Lurfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt, who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. I am a leading Nebraska 28-25 here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. 10-second ID break. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball. Hawks score off the underneath out-of-bounds play again. Coach McCaffrey always drives up, uh, uh, draws up a bingo on that. And a nice feed Harding to McCaffrey, who dunks it from right underneath the basket. Here's a pitch to Mast in the lane. He throws it to the wing. A three ball on the way. No good. Rebound Evan Bronze is in there. He might have got a hand on it. Tipped it to Tony Perkins. Perkins will get credit for the rebound. Iowa up five with the ball. 5-0-5 to play till halftime. Perkins throws to the wing for Harding. All this Nebraska experience now. They've ratcheted up the defense. Josh Dixon had a big three a moment ago. Now Harding tries a three. No good. Rebounded by Mast of the Huskers. Rink Mast leaves it for Bryce Williams, and the Huskers are on the attack down five. There's Mast banging bodies with Evan Bronze. Leans in, throws it up and good off the glass, and a foul called on Evan Bronze. Just can't get anything yeah, I, going. Evan, yeah. man, he's battling in there, but he's called for the foul. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know how you call that. I mean, there's both big bodies are banging into each other. Yep. They got the basket. The foul, I'm not so sure about, but they call it. Mast with a couple hoops. Transfer from Bradley and makes the free throw. And we got a two-point game. Iowa 30, Huskers 28. Hawks went on a 15-0 run to go up 15. Early in the game, Nebraska's responded, or did respond, with an 18-6 blitz. Got it underneath five, and now they trail by two after the three-point play. Here's McCaffrey, who's got seven first-half points. Tony Perkins, jump passes to Peyton Sanford. High post left, passed up the shot. 10 to shoot, 420 to play in the first half. Perkins around a screen by Braun. Gets it to Peyton Sanford, and he knocks in a three from the far sideline. Peyton had missed three in a row from distance. Gets that one. That's a big one. Hawks are back up five at 33-28. Peyton's third three-point field goal made in the first half. He's got 11 total points. Sam Hoiberg to Mass. He lays it up and in. Right up over the top of Tony Perkins, who got him on the switch. And Nebraska just too easy inside for the Husker Bigs. They're scoring layup after layup after layup. McCaffrey lobs for Evan Bronze. Young man from right here in Iowa City, Dix, stop and go move, holds up, 
Perkins is open for three. Deep left wing. Good. Nice find, Josh Dix. Took his time to let the, the defensive traffic clear, and Tony jumped out behind the three-point line wide open. Nobody in the vicinity, and he knocks down the three. Iowa's lead is 36-30. 3.25 to play. Here's another score in close. Backdoor cut by Sam Hoiberg, and a nice pass by Mast. Both teams scoring every possession, seemingly. 36-32, Hawkeyes. Well, a better crowd than what we thought might get in here tonight, but they're seeing a wildly entertaining game if you like offense. 3.05 to play till the intermission. Perkins near corner in front of the Nebraska bench. Step back jumper, no good short. And the Huskers get the weak side board in the person of Sam Hoiberg. 2.50 to play in the half. Nebraska can get back to within two. Here's Tomanaga. To Hoiberg crosses over on Sanford, gets into the lane, uh, missed the layup. Looked like it was going down. It crawled back out, and Bronze clears for the Hawkeye. Evans gets it to Dix. Here's McCaffrey, baseline Perkins. A pass intended for Dix. Bronze thought it was his, mishandled it, and it's a takeaway by Nebraska. And they're running. Mass with a shot up, no good. Good defense by Bronze. He clears it to Peyton Sanford. Hawks are running the other way with 2.20 to go in the half. Sanford all the way in and a blocking foul called on Nebraska. I like what uh, Peyton did there. He challenged two Nebraska defenders who were backpedaling, figured one of them would get caught with the block, and that's what happened. Yeah, just attack. That's what Fran McCaffrey was telling us, guys. You got Nebraska. Nebraska on the run. They look tired out here at the end of the first half. You got the rebound. Good defense by the Hawkeyes at this end. And then get it and go. Exactly what Peyton Sanford did to earn himself two free throws. A battle of mental wills here. Both teams are physically spent. And the timeout came at a very good opportunity. Hawk fans, well marked Blue Cross Blue Shield. Those you're here for every fadeaway, alley oop, and buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment, too. A trusted health care coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. Wellmark.com slash hoops. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakville is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oakville.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Nebraska, after a rough start shooting the basketball, has come back uh, driving it to the rim. They had 14 threes at Purdue, uh, the, or against Purdue the other night, and that upset at number one. One of ten from distance here tonight at Carver. Let's hope that holds. Uh, but they're uh, 14 of 29 for the game, just under 50%. Hawks at 45%. They've cooled off thanks to some uh, pressing uh, Nebraska defense. Some switching defense, too. They've, they've switched from man-to-man, -to -man, double team the post. They've gone to the 2-3 zone out front where they're scrambling around. And just the Hawks so are taking their time. Look at that assist number. 12 assists on 15 made baskets for the Hawkeyes. Committed just four turnovers. Playing good. Peyton Sanford will shoot two free throws. And Peyton, of course, very good at the line at 87 percent makes the first sanford he and cricky i was leading scorers all season uh peyton the leading number man tonight he's got 12 here in the first half at 24 against rutgers season high second one is good two minutes 19 seconds to play first half and the hawkeye lead is back to six at 38 
32. Finish this half off of a flurry. Nebraska into the front court against that press. Tomanaga leaves it for Bryce Williams. Now to Mass, the big fella. He's like a tall mast up there. For Rice, the freshman's had a great first half. Back to Mass with 10 to shoot. Minute 58 to play in the first half. He's taken Owen Freeman inside. Looked like he got away with a walk. Now Owen had good posture, but Mass gets the ball up and in. He's got nine. A little bully ball there. Yeah. Out of rink. Mass just powered his way to the basket. He's wanted the ball here the last few possessions. 38-34, Iowa. Perkins. Had a shot, passed it up, drives in left of the lane. Now to Dix. He's open for three. It's good. Josh Dix has hit his last two from distance. Iowa 41, Nebraska 34. Williams back. Gets away with throwing an elbow into a Peyton Sanford. And muscle. speaking of bully ball, again, 41-36, Iowa. Neither team stopping the other for the minute. Or for the moment, 115 to play till halftime. Stay with us for our... Halftime stat recap courtesy of Hy-Vee. We'll also hear from longtime Iowa football assistant coach uh, Reese Morgan, who received a great award at the Outland Trophy Ceremony uh, this week. Here's a three from PMAC right wing. No good. A battle for the rebound. Mast rips it away from Owen Freeman. Under a minute to go on the half, and Nebraska with the ball down five, 41-36. William or uh, Wilcher stumbles but avoids the travel. Now they get it right to the big guy and he throws a shoulder into Freeman and that time they call the travel. Good job by the freshman Owen Freeman holding his ground and force rink mast into shuffle the pivot foot and call for the travel. Four turnovers on Nebraska for the pace played Bobby has been a really well cl uh, cleanly played game. Pretty much by both teams the Hawkeyes had a little two turnovers in a row there about midway in the, in the half but they've settled in. Hawks go four in, one out. They're going to drain some clock here with 32 seconds to go till halftime. 18 on the shot clock. Looked like the Hawks were going to go two for one possession, but decided otherwise. Iowa leading by five, 41-36. Nine to shoot. Here's, I don't know what Tony was doing there. Perkins, I thought he was shooting it. And uh, Patrick McCaffrey tried to catch the line drive, fumbled it away, turnover Iowa. So Nebraska has the last say in the half. Williams drives inside, misses the running jumper left of the lane. Freeman with a rebound, throws it. Oh, length of the court as the buzzer sounds. No good. And the Hawks go to the locker room. Up 41-36 in a wildly entertaining first half. Yeah, it was. It was up and down, uh, no doubt about it. The Hawkeyes shoot 46%. Nebraska started uh, heating it up. They're at 50%, but what the Hawks did good was they didn't allow a bunch of three-point field goals by Nebraska, which they live on. Nebraska just one of ten in the first half. Now's your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball in serving charities throughout eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. Stay tuned for our halftime show sponsored by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud supporter of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. Iowa 41, Nebraska 36 at the break. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com smartertogether. Member FDIC. 
How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Hawkeyes leading Nebraska 41-36 at the break. Iowa got out to a 17-2 advantage, a 15-0 run before Nebraska put together an 18-6 streak. To get it back to single digits, and we sit here at 41-36 at the break. Uh, a lot of the uh, comeback by the Huskers, Bobby, had everything to do with Nebraska's bench. Yeah, they, they put it on. They, uh, they came in and very productive. 19-8, Gary, and uh, led by Eli Rice, a freshman, averages four points. He's got nine. Josiah Alec, the senior, tough guy inside. He had six points, and C.J. Wilcher has been held in check, which is a good thing, as has Tomonaga, the starter. But uh, you're right, the, the, the Nebraska bench came in and made this a game the other big stat of course uh, 14 made threes against purdue the other night nebraska shot 60 percent from distance and knocking out number one just one of ten on uh, on the iowa defense here in the first half uh, the hawks meanwhile have hit seven threes and 20 attempts three of those by peyton sanford the hawks lead by five at the break and we're sponsored by bud light this is the bud light halftime show and this is hawkeye basketball from learfield Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Step into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. This week in Omaha, longtime assistant football coach Reese Morgan received the Tom Osborne Legacy Award. Named after the longtime Nebraska Hall of Fame coach, the ceremony was part of the annual Outland Trophy Awards Banquet. Iowa has four Outland Trophy winners total. Morgan coached two of them, offensive lineman Robert Gallery and Brendan Scherf, and mentored a third in Chad Hennings at Benton Community. Hennings went on to the Air Force Academy, where he was an All-American, won three Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys, and became an A-10 fighter pilot. Uh, I, I think it starts with the families. You look back at the families, all all three of the guys, uh, two of the three, 
Uh, Chad was a farmer, grew up on a farm, farm chores, hard work, discipline. Uh, Robert was the same way, farm, farmer up in uh, uh, up near Winthrop, uh, Iowa, uh, where he went to school. And then Brandon wasn't a farmer. Dad was uh, uh, the bus mechanic and the transportation director. Mom was a teacher, but the same core values. So they had that great base that they started with. The second thing is just the hard work that they did. They embraced the work in the weight room, outside the weight room, uh, you know, wanting to get better. They had the, this, they were driven. They were driven themselves to do it. And then the last thing is they never wanted to be, uh, they always felt that there was, some, you know, the pressure to, to improve. They were never satisfied. They, they and, and they were great teammates, great teammates. And, and uh, you know, they had this inner drive. That, that, that most successful people have. The High V halftime stat recap is coming up next. Score big savings with the all new totally free High V perks membership. Iowa, Nebraska, we're at halftime. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. We're at halftime. Iowa leads Nebraska 41-36 Big Ten basketball. The dead of winter in Iowa City on a Friday night. Thanks for coming back with us. Our halftime coverage brought to you by High V. Score big savings with the all-new totally free High V Perks membership. At the break, let's check the uh, Latham Seeds, Latham High Tech Seeds charity stripe recap. Not a factor, really. Iowa got to the foul line just three times, made two. Nebraska was three out of five. That's your charity stripe recap, courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds, where you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. As for shooting, Nebraska 16 of 32, the Hawks 16 of 35, but Iowa has six more three-point goals. Nebraska just one out of 10 from distance, the Hawks seven out of 20. Peyton Sanford with 13 leads Iowa. Eight for Owen Freeman, plus five rebounds. The Big Ten Freshman of the Week, Patrick McCaffrey, with a three and a couple baskets. He's got seven and a half a dozen for Josh Dix, two threes for Josh. For Nebraska, the big story is uh, their bench. They outscored the Hawks 19 to 8 in the first half. And uh, 15 of the 19 points coming from freshman Eli Rice and grad transfer Josiah Aulick. Nebraska led in scoring by Rice and by Rink Mass, their powerful post player, each with nine points. Rebounds are about even 19-18 in favor of Iowa. That's our High V stat recap. More on our High V halftime show brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of the Hawks. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. 41-36 Hawkeyes as we go to the second half. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. 
Hey everyone, Chef Brandon here. The Burger Shed features signature handcrafted burgers, real ice cream shakes, and machine shed classics you already know and love, like the award-winning pork tenderloin and smoked turkey Reuben sandwiches, plus everyone's favorite dessert, the apple dumpling. With plenty of big screen TVs and several local beers on draft, Burger Shed is the perfect place to watch your favorite sports team on game day. And every day, burgers, beers, and a whole bunch of BS. Burger Shed, Bass Pro Drive, Altoona. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Halftime, the Hawkeyes lead Nebraska 41-36. Iowa led by 15 early on. The Huskers put together an 18-6 run to get it back to within five. That's where we sit, 41-36 at the break. Bobby Hansen has returned from the uh, Hawkeye locker room. Uh, Bobby and a Hawkeye assistant coach are brought to you by our Iowa John Deere dealers, including P&K Midwest and Waverly. Who'd you talk to? What they have to say, Bob? Yeah, Coach uh, Sherman Diller. We talked uh, about the, the start that the Hawkeyes got off to, a nice 17-2 start. And then uh, they did a nice job on Tomonaga, who uh, didn't have a three-point field goal made there in the first half. But he, he said we, we need to sustain our defensive intensity a little bit more, more consistent on that defense. And we must be able to defend the guys off the bounce, getting too many easy layup baskets off the dribble. Boy. I'll say 30 to 14 Nebraska leads and paint scores a lot of lane layups 30 to 14 Nebraska with 16 more paint scores uh, balanced out by Iowa's seven three-point goals that's our uh, Iowa John Deere dealers halftime update Bobby Hansen talking with the coaching staff uh, your Iowa John Deere dealers are proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball a uh, US Bank scoreboard uh, not much going on before we go to the second half one other final in the Big Ten tonight uh, down in Bloomington, Indiana defeated Minnesota 74-62. So the Gophers dropped to 3-2. and two. Indiana gets its third win of the season. Hawks are hunting for win number two here tonight. Uh, the Huskers are 3-2. and two. Uh, Villanova leads DePaul late 92-67. And Iowa wrestling ranked number two, one at number four, Nebraska, 22-10. We'll have a recap for that uh, for, you, for you on that on our postgame show. The Hawkeye women ranked third, entertain uh, 14th rank Indiana tomorrow night right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. And hopefully all the roads are clear. And other than the wind howling, uh, you can get here safe and sound. Thank you again to our snow plows all over the state from the state, county, and municipalities for doing their job and our state troopers and county mounties and local police officers for the great job they do in any kind of weather. We're going to go to the second half here in just a minute. we got an issue with the TV cameras across the way getting off, off the floor, which gives me time to tell you that if you or someone you know needs support, please call or text 988 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. All right, second half underway, and it's Nebraska basketball. So if the Hawks can have a beginning to the second period like they did the game when they got out 15, 17 to 2. Tomanaga for the Huskers will reset the lineup. Here's a reach-in foul on an Iowa double team, either McCaffrey 
or Owen Freeman. They're going to get Owen Freeman for the slap down on Tominaga. Iowa starts the second period with Perkins and McCaffrey, Owen Freeman, Peyton Sanford, and Ben Cricky. The Huskers counter with Tominaga. He's got the ball dribbling along the sideline. Step back three, curls it in. That's what he does. Don't let him get going. Oh, moving to his right there. That's a tough shot. Fall away three. First made by Casey Tominaga to pull it in two. 41 39. Iowa's lead melted to two. Here's McCaffrey to Peyton Sanford. Back to PMAC. He's peering inside. Has Cricky back door. He's doubled. Back out top for Perkins. Jump shot. Good. And a free throw coming. Count the basket. A little shot fake, head fake, call it what you want, by Tony Froze, the defender. Froze, the defender, he just sliced in between the two defenders at the free throw line and slapped down on Tony, and he just held his, his uh, uh, follow through there and knocks down the uh, the basket and three-point opportunity coming for Perkins. 43-39 Iowa, one minute gone, second half. Bud and Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in the state of Iowa. And getting a med medical card is fast and easy. Visit at BudMary.com and learn more. Tony makes the free throw. Perkins now with six points and a big three-point play to start the second half. Iowa back up five, 44-39. Lawrence, two early fouls. Uh, Jack, Jack Lawrence, and he's back in the game now to start the second half. Here's Mast. He's got a standstill three on the way. No good. Oh, and over the back. Jawan Gary, no call. My goodness. Cricky had him boxed out perfectly. And he went right over his back, throws it up, and scores off glass. Boy, there's a free two. Wow. 44-41. Mm -hmm. Nebraska with a gift. Cricky along the sideline. Throws cross court to McCaffrey. And Patrick picked up the uh, pivot foot. Picked up the pivot foot. And drove it into the paint. Five turnovers on Iowa. 18.37 to play. They got a delay a game called on Tominaga. What was he doing? I did not see it, but he didn't argue. Yeah, he must have been John with Patrick or somebody. So Nebraska with the ball shoots for the tie with a three. Down 44-41. Here's Tominaga. Jump passes to Mast. He's wide open. Takes a three. Tie game. Owen Freeman got there a little bit late. And we got a brand new game. Rink Mast, a very capable three-point shooter. He's well, shot 50 of them on the year and has made 30% uh, of them. But he's got 12 points now right at his average. Nebraska one for 10 from distance in the first half. They've hit two here early in the second period. Perkins with a catch in the lane. Leans in, no shot. Now to McCaffrey on the wing. Patrick goes cross court to Perkins. Drives inside, misses with the left hand. Gets the rebound to Sanford. Standstill three. Good. Big basket by Peyton. Yeah, good rebound there too by Tony Perkins. And the find of Peyton Sanford open in the left corner there. 16 points now for Peyton. That's four three-point field goals made for Peyton. Hawks regain the lead at 47-44, 17-38 to play in the game. Mast barrels in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Barrel right, lowered the shoulder, went right into Freeman. Looked like he should have called for, for the charge or a walk. Sanford misses a three in transition. Nebraska down one, gets the rebound. 47-46 Huskers. Now, what a pace of this game. Here's Gary. Gets it to Tominaga. He drives in, scores off glass. Nebraska has its first lead, 48-47. Again, drive and score. That's been Nebraska's game here for the most part tonight. Cricky, who's yet to get his game going. Here's a shot up and good by Owen Freeman. Beautiful pass inside. Again, tell Tony. Cricky or Perkins Tony. again. Tomanaga comes right back, scores again. Beat the Iowa defense down the floor. 50-49 Nebraska. Here's Peyton Sanford to McCaffrey. He's run into on a baseline cut. Patrick will shoot two free throws. That was well executed there. Sanford with a bounce pass to Patrick in motion as he broke from the corner along the baseline. And now Patrick will have a chance to give Iowa the lead back. The Hawks trail for the first time tonight. First foul on Rink Mast. The better conditioned team is going to win this game. My goodness, back and forth we go. 76% from the foul line is Patrick McCaffrey. Doesn't take him long to get the ball to court and score. 50-49 Nebraska. The Hawks 15-point lead all gone. 
And PMAC misses the first free throw. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club. It's free. And enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye gold scratch tickets today. Sam Hoiberg, who's getting more and more minutes from Dad, and deservedly so, comes into the game. Second free throw by McCaffrey is good. We got a tie game at 50. Williams and Hoiberg bring the ball across the timeline. Bryce Williams, top of the circle. Hawks are in a zone. Here's a corner jump shot. No good. Missed by Jawan Gary. Rebounded by Iowa. Perkins pushes the tempo. Lob inside for Owen Freeman. He's doubled. Gets a cutting Perkins. Tony into the paint. Turn shoots. No good. Rebounded by Hoiberg. Good defense by Nebraska. 50 all, 16 10 to play in the game. Hoiberg left wing. Peering over that Iowa 2 3 zone. The Hawks extended out. T Tomanaga took his eyes off a bounce pass to the wing. He, you know what he was doing? He was going to shoot it too uh, before he looked the ball in. And a uh, live ball turnover by Nebraska gives the ball back to the Hawkeyes with uh, four minutes gone, second half. That's five turnovers on Nebraska. Now there's a shooter for you. He was ready to fire, <laughs> but he was also looking at Tony Perkins, who was making a nice defensive stab at the at the basketball and just trickled out of his hands out of bounds. Hawk fans, here's a lineup you're going to love. They're ready to throw it down, too. Honda, HRV, the CRV, Passport, and Pilot ready to pounce. See your central Midwest Honda dealer this winter and uh, purchase a gripping the road Honda. Visit great dealers like Randy Keel in Cedar Rapids. Keel Honda. Say hi to Randy. Say hi to Nate Keel as well while you're at it. Honda. Proud supporter of the Hawkeye men's and women's basketball team. Tie game at 50, and with the score knotted up at 50 apiece, we'll step out early in the second half. Hawkeye basketball is presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Hey folks, this is Jeff Grinder from The Machine Shed. We're all about comfort food at The Machine Shed. Indulge in our classic fried chicken, which is prepared with our own secret spices. Our Try Our Cattleman Sirloin Tips, featuring certified Angus beef, served with our famous mushroom stuffing that has onions and Swiss cheese, all topped with a garlic herb sauce. Come experience the taste of home cooking at The Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 and Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Game on. Uh, Hawkeyes and Nebraska tied up at 50. The Huskers have outscored the Hawks by five in the first four minutes of the second half to catch the Hawks, who led it 41-36 at the break. It'll be Iowa basketball after Nebraska's fifth turnover. Both teams have taken pretty good care of the basketball uh, for the most part. But an unforced error there on Tomanaga as Iowa now with a chance to get the lead. Perkins. Throws to Patrick McCaffrey, right wing, top of the circle, Cricky. He looks inside for Owen Freeman, drives in, takes the shot, scores. Hawks need to get him going. Yeah, had two fouls in the first half, really affected the Hawkeye offense. He's coming out here now, gets a second field goal of the game. Iowa 52, Nebraska 50. Hawks zone. And try that zone and cover up Tomanaga for sure. Here's Fred Hoiberg running from the point. Now a step back three from the left wing. No good. Offered up by Bryce Williams. He's just 38% from three. Patrick McCaffrey clears. And 
Thrown out the welcome mat for Patrick back in the lineup. He's played well. Sanford hits a cutting tricky. Baseline jumper. Good. And he's in that zone. Ben, get him the ball. Yeah, absolutely. He's got the hot hand right now. Three made field goals for Ben. The two of them here in the second half. He's got six. 54-50 Iowa. 15-03 to play. Hoiberg. Nebraska standing around. Tominaga throws up a long three. That's no good. Strong. Rebounded by Mass. Tied up by Owen Freeman. And it's going to be Iowa basketball. Mast, Mast has got the uh, mass. He's got the bulk. Freeman's got the long reach. He's got the length, no doubt about it. And good job by Owen Freeman of holding his ground against the big fellow Rink Mast. And comes up with the basketball and possession now in favor of the Hawks. Uh, Josiah Ulrich, Ulrich comes back into the game. He had a big first half off the bench with nine points. 6'8", 235. He's a horse. He's bodied up on Cricky who gets around him and then a foul call a blocking foul on Olick stumbled uh, you know you know where Cricky's going when he gets the ball going with that left hand right to the cup Hawks up four courtesy of Ben Cricky 1443 to play in the game and an underneath out of bounds call again by Fran McCaffrey Perkins the trigger man gets it to Cricky left baseline he stumbles gets himself under control to Freeman to Sanford High post right, Cricky. Hooks a pass to McCaffrey. Now to Sanford. 4-3. No good. Rushed it just a little bit. And pushed it right. Hoiberg with a rebound. Nebraska hustles into the front court trying to beat that zone setup, and they do. Olick goes back door. Baseline cut for the dunk. Great pass by Sam Hoiberg. That ends a two-and-a-half-minute drought for Nebraska. 54-52 Huskers. Trail Iowa by two. Hawks with the ball. McCaffrey. Spin dribble move away from the defender. Cricky. Iowa running a little three-man weave out front. Here's Tony. Keep moving. Perkins from Freeman. Tony to Patrick. Sh shot fake on a three. Finds Cricky in the corner. He lobs it up there. Down through again. He's hit three in a row. And that one there was a three, Garrett. Nine points now. Ben Cricky. And that is back-to-back-to-back -back -back field goals for Cricky. 57-52. Iowa back in front by five. Perkins deflects a pass. Uh, over the top cross court feed, Mast intended to hit Hoiberg for three. And the long arms and the reach of Tony Perkins deflects it into the seats with 19 to shoot. 13.40 to play in the game. CJ Wilcher comes in, the 6'5 junior from Joyce Tominaga exits for a breather. So CJ Wilcher averages eight points and is a 44% shooter from three. Deals it into Mass. Now to Olick. Josiah Olick. Grad transfer for New Mexico. For Hoiberg. Mass peers inside. Nothing doing. Here's a corner three on the way from Bryce Williams. No good. Rebound tip controlled by Olick. Now he falls to the floor and he's tied up. Or did they call timeout? Not sure. Yeah, timeout asked for by Nebraska. I think that. I tell you, that Olick has really been tough tonight yeah. off the bench. Yeah, Lincoln, uh, Nebraska kid, came back home after uh, the stint down there in, uh, in New Mexico and really paid dividends for the Cornhuskers. Wellmark is there for the exciting moments, proud moments, even the hard moments. Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield, is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. Hawks have slashed their way to a 57-52 lead as Ben Cricky has taken over the game for the moment, and hopefully for the remaining 13-24. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. 
Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. Uh, the late game tonight in the Big Ten has been entertaining. The Hawkeyes lead at 57-52 over 13-3 Nebraska. Fresh off that big upset of Purdue on Tuesday night. The Hawkeyes have watched Ben Cricky put him on his back for the last three minutes. Cricky with three field goals, broke a tie. Hawks back in front by five. Iowa has 18 more points off threes. Nebraska is plus 18 in paint scores. A lot of drives to the basket around Hawkeye defenders. And now Nebraska with the basketball, again facing that Iowa 2-3 zone. Wilcher, Hoiberg, they play catch. Wilcher throws up a deep three. No good. Rebounded by Aldick again. And a foul on Iowa. Weak side offensive rebounding by Aldick. And Nebraska will have another possession. Not a shooting foul. Foul on Tony. How many is that on Tony? Well, I got him for one. Okay, that's the good news. Bad news is Nebraska keeps the ball with 13 10 to go and another look in their end. Wilcher had a good look at that deep three, but it was even out of his range. Here's a jump pass into Aldick. Grabbed by Sanford, covered up. Out front it comes to Hoiberg. Now to Williams. And the freshman is back in the game. Rice. Here's another jump shot. No good from distance. Offered up by. Bryce Williams, he's not afraid to shoot. He's 0 for his last three, though. Josh Dixon for the Hawkeyes. He had a couple big threes in the first half. Josh, a bounce left of the lane to Cricky. He's doubled. Throws it to an open teammate, Tony Perkins, far corner. Tony jump passes inside to Freeman, who dunks it down through. Up over the top of Bryce Williams. Great feed by number 11. Kept his head up, Tony Perkins did there, and found Owen Freeman right at the front of the rim. What he's supposed to do, call for the basketball catch and dunk. Hawks stretch the lead back to seven. Here's Olick loose in the lane, a lean in and a score Ooh. over Owen Freeman. Boy, this guy, you can tell he's a veteran. Grad transfer from the Lobos. Dix is open for three, hits it in transition. Josh Dix. Gaining confidence. Three threes for number four. Yeah, it certainly is. And two in the first half and this one here. And he's just looking for his shot now. I will trade three for twos. Here's Hoiberg missing a three. Rebounded Freeman. Hawks running with an eight-point lead. 62-54. 11.55 to play oh in the gosh. game. Perkins deep on the right side. Bounces top of the circle to Cricky. He holds up high post left. Ben looking, looking. Can't find anybody. 14 to shoot. Here the Hawks in the lane. Now to the corner. Cricky's open. Stand still three. Yes, sir. Ed Hoiberg thought he might. I thought he might whistle for a timeout. Iowa back up nine. I make it 11. Back up double digits. 65-54. What a response by Iowa after Nebraska tied it. Yeah, what a response by Ben Cricky here in the second half. He's got 12 points total. Had two at halftime with the two fouls. Ten here in the second half. Hoiberg with the baseline drive. Throws it away. Tony Perkins picks it up. One man to beat all the way, and he's grabbed. That's got to be an intentional foul, you would think. I mean, he was bear-hugged by Bryce Williams. Mm -hmm. And it should be an intentional foul. They're discussing. But uh, you know what? I'll take this little run. Nebraska tied it at 51. The Hawks have gone off on a 14-3 blitz here in the last uh, not quite five minutes. 65-54 Iowa as we've come to an official's timeout on the floor. Iowa 65, the Huskers 54. Nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. And don't settle for ordinary with your company's apparel. Bobby and I don't. We're wearing our authentic brand pullovers, our three-quarter zips tonight. From sleek office essentials to laid-back everyday wear, Authentic Brand is a label for you. It's not just a label, though it's a lifestyle. Authentic Brand, log on to Authentic-Brand.com. We're all Perry Strong across Iowa. Thank you, Authentic Brand, for supporting the Hawkeyes. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. 
Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Welcome back to Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield's coverage of Hawkeye Basketball from Carver. Iowa trying to get back-to-back -back Big Ten wins. Went over Rutgers last week here, and now tonight, an 11-point lead on uh, on uh, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Hawks have been seeing red for a week between the Scarlet Knights and the Huskers, but no matter, Nebraska caught Iowa early in the second half at 50 all, and then Ben Cricky with three consecutive field goals has started a stretch that saw Iowa outscore Fred Hoiberg's team 15 to four. Cricky just hit another deep corner basket. And he's on fire. He's got 12 after catching two early fouls to start the game. He sat out most of the half, so he's good to go for the rest of the half. Bobby. Yeah, he is. And uh, just looking here at the stats, Tony Perkins with a, uh, maybe a career high 11 assists. It is career high 11 assists. Indeed. Doing a nice now job he's at the foul line, shooting two. He can add to that Hawkeye lead. It's so a 15 to four run when, since it was tied. So they did not call an intentional foul, but he does get two free throws. First one is good. So Tony's. You know, we, we, we know, we've known him as a scorer, but his complete game has arrived this year. Yeah, really becoming a leader for this basketball team and uh, find it, he got his head up, finding the open guy and doesn't turn the ball over, which is key when you're at that point guard position. Makes both free throws now, eight points, 11 assists, one steal. Hawks with that full court pressure. And Nebraska's got to hurry. They do get it across the line. Tomanaga's open for three. No good short. Rebounded uh, Nebraska. Again, another weak side offensive rebound. This time grabbed by Jawan Geary, and he's fouled. So three fouls on Ben Cricky. He's got to be careful now with 11 on one to go. Hawks can ill afford to have him on the bench. That ball hit hard off the heel of the iron and then just line drive right to Gary, and Ben got caught with a reach. Tominaga throws it into Sam Hoiberg. 67-54. Iowa's lead is 13 with 10.55 to play. Here's Gary. High post right. Drives inside and hits the running jumper. About 10 feet out. So a little seam there and enough to get to the basket, or at least within 10 feet. Popped it in. That ends the Iowa run. 67-56, Hawkeyes. Hawks have done a good job on Juwan Gary all night. He's a 12-point scorer. He's only got four. Tricky to Peyton Sanford. Back to Ben. He's open again. Jump shot. No good. This one's strong. Owen Freeman tipped the rebound and tried to Tony Perkins, but it's grabbed by Gary. Tominaga pushes the tempo, uh, tempo into the front court. Now to Gary. Swing it weak side to Hoiberg. Here's a corner jump shot. In and out. No good. Rebound. Strong rebound by Tricky off the miss by Eli Rice. Here are the Hawks into the front court. Freeman with a catch inside and a dunk. Boy, he went and got that pass. It was a little wide and then split a double team for the dunk. Give Peyton Sanford the assist. Yeah, he, he kind of bounced it slowly in there, but Owen went and retrieved the basketball. All he had to do was good footwork, turn and dunk. 69-56, Iowa lead back to 13. Hawks have led by as many as 15. Tominanga holds up high post right. Shot fake, throws it up and in. Oh, what body control by that guy. Yeah, just nifty, crafty little lefty. He's got 11. 
Perkins quickly into the front court for the Hawks, who lead it by 11. Here's a backdoor catch. Nice catch by Freeman. No shot, though. Now they reverse it around weak side to Crickey. He's picked up by Mast. 9.25 to go. Perkins with a right baseline drive. Here's a pass out front to Sanford. A quick shot. No good off the right of the iron. Rebounded by Mast. Peyton's uh, had a cold second half. Here's Rice. Baseline drive, a jump shot up, and good. Nicely done. Off the glass, no doubt, by Jawan Geary. Back-to-back -back scores by the Huskers. 69-60. Iowa's lead is 9 with 9.03 to go. Perkins walks it across the midcorp stripe. Now to Dix. Josh has got three. A trio of threes tonight. He gets around to Monaga, drops it off to Freeman. Another high percentage dunk. They all are, but the Hawkeye guards now penetrating and finding the big fella. What you got to do, look for your big man inside there. They draw so much attention when you put the ball on the floor and get to the basket. 71-60 Iowa. Here's a shot in close. No good. Put back. No good. Another offensive rebound for Nebraska. And free throws coming for Jawan Gary and Fran uh, McCaffrey is crawling out of his skin and Iowa's inability to get to that missed jump shot. Jawan Gary swimming through two Hawkeye defenders there to retrieve the basketball. Transfer from Alabama. He's a load, 220 pounds at 6'6". Solid. Long arms, and that helps him with that reach for those offensive boards. Free throws good. 71-61. Patrick McCaffrey will come and get the big fellow Owen Freeman, the freshman of the week. 16 points for the big O. Eight rebounds. He's hit eight of nine shots. Most of them dunks, five boards. Or eight rebounds, excuse me. You're right, Bobby. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Peyton Sanford. That's a strong board by Peyton. Fox up by nine. They're running, scoring in transition. Great pass by Perkins again to Patrick McCaffrey. And the Hawkeye lead is 73-61, 8-19 to go. Great job by Patrick, releasing on the missed free throw there by Gary, and he got it out ahead of everybody for the layup. Assist again for from Tony. Tony Solver. tips the pass, nearly stole it away by Mast, or from Mast. He gets it inside to Hoiberg, and he misses the layup. Anticipating contact, and he threw it up there too hard. Sanford clear. Here come the Hawks. Perkins all the way into the lane. Throws it to McCaffrey. Back to Tony. Tony with a shot fake. Jump passes to McCaffrey. Now to Peyton. Into the corner to Dix. His three. God! Josh Dix with another three. And it's the Hawkeyes' turn tonight, draining from long distance. That's four three-point field goals made for Josh Dix, a young man from Council Bluff. He's got 12 in the game. The Hawks have a dozen threes. Whew. Nebraska is three for 22. 7.48 to play in the game. And Iowa's back to its biggest lead of the night. At least matched it. 76-61. This is Iowa basketball at its very level best. Get out and go. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by Iowa Corn. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowa. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. This is Hawkeye Basketball, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Iowa. With just days to go before we caucus, Nikki Haley is showing her true colors. Here's what Wall Street funded Nikki Haley just said in New Hampshire. You know Iowa starts it. You know that you correct it. Haley disparages the caucuses and insults you. You know Iowa starts it. You know that you correct it. Nikki Haley has made it clear. She doesn't trust you. But you know what? It's Nikki Haley that can't be trusted. Because she's not a true conservative and she won't represent our shared Iowa values. Donald Trump is running on his issues. Nikki Haley is running on her donors' issues. I'm running on your issues. It is Ron DeSantis who embodies and defends our values of faith, family, and freedom. And he's got the support of some important Iowans to show it. Governor Kim Reynolds, Bob Vanderplatz, 42 state legislators, 120 county chairs, over 120 Iowa faith leaders and dozens of Iowa sheriffs, they all back Ron DeSantis. Join them and caucus for Ron DeSantis on January 15th. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I approve this message. Paid for by Ron DeSantis for president. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. 
the choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification along the Iowa Hawkeye radio network. Basketball from Carver tonight where Iowa leads Nebraska 76-61. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye basketball. If you're out there in the frozen tundra tuned in, we appreciate your listenership, your attendance. In Sioux Center, listen to KSOU AM and FM, Webster City AM and FM, KZWC. Down in Oskaloosa, the Hawks are on KBOE FM. And over in the southwest part of the state in Atlantic, KJAN AM and FM, the home of Ed Podolak. And he's got to love this. Peyton Sanford with a near steal on a diagonal pass to the left wing in the far sideline. Intended for Tominaga. The Hawks are in tune with this zone defense. Yeah, body. active. Active in that zone defense. Playing the passing lanes in there. And Peyton almost came up with a steal. Hawks led in scoring by Peyton Sanford. Owen Freeman each with 16. A dozen for Cricky. Ten points for Patrick McCaffrey. Good balance. Nebraska on the attack with seven and a half to go. Shot up no good and a foul called on four. Ben Cricky. Wow. Apparently Ben got a hip into the uh, the driver, in this case Jawan Geary, who's been very aggressive. So Cricky's going to have to come out with his fourth foul. That's too bad. A dozen wow. points for Ben. Really was a driver here in the second half to get this lead absolutely to get it back to 15 Owen Freeman will come and get him Owen's been on the bench for a, a few minutes so he should be refreshed for the the stretch drive seven and a half minutes to go also gonna have to play without their leading scorer first free throws good by Gary 76 62 Iowa second one good 76 63 Freeman looks for a teammate has Tony Perkins and Nebraska gets back on defense Perkins doubled now they break off the double Tony looking inside for Freeman now they spread it four out the one in here's Patrick McCaffrey from the corner misses the three rebound a nice block out by CJ Wiltshire Nebraska running at the other end down and they throw it away 76 63 Iowa with the lead and the ball Patrick McCaffrey leads it for Dix had a big night shooting threes here's a catch inside by Freeman spins moves shoots, scores curled it in the defense was to his left side he spun back to the middle of the lane and hit the curl in jumper from five feet another assist Tony Perkins 13 this basket inside again Gary driving in missed that one Hawks were waving arms at him and now a whistle and a foul called on Gary he doesn't agree but he paid Sanford wasn't gonna let him get the bas basketball I love to see the aggression in that young man but he, I think that was more frustration missing the uh, short jumper at the yeah. other end and tired 78 63 Iowa's lead is 15 comfortable for the moment six and a half minutes to go in the game as the Hawkeyes look to get to two and three in conference play here's Freeman for Dix he's got four threes on the night Tony Perkins tries his luck at three. That one's a little strong. Tip up. No good by Dix. Nice move by Josh. He got inside position on Jawan Gary. And Gary has picked up two quick fouls. Josh Dix will be at the free throw line. That's four fouls on Jawan Gary. Nice job. Josh Dix, a running rebound from the left corner. Saw the shot was going to go up. He just took off and beat Jawan Gary off the floor. And knocked to the ground. Dix had a really good second half here. Actually, an overall game, Josh. Oh, he really, really has good had game. a good game. You bet Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Free throw missed by Josh. Neither team has shot a ton of free throws tonight. Second one is good. Dick's a very good free thrower. Makes the second one. 79-63, Iowa's biggest lead at 16 with 619 to go. Huskers 
They've had issues with that zone defense here in the second half. Here's Josiah Aulick back in the game. Shot fake drives inside, hands it off to Wiltshire. Left-handed layup, missed it. Freeman with a rebound. They've missed two bunnies inside on the last two possessions. Hawks are driving, and Patrick McCaffrey is fouled. A block. Now Patrick is staying down on the floor. Looked like he jammed that ankle. Hopefully it's just a momentary thing, and he'll shoot free throws. He's up and walking it off. One and one. Huskers have put the Hawks at the foul line now on the bonus. Iowa's committed five the second half team fouls. Iowa, seven of ten from the free throw line. Just two of three in the first half. Nebraska's been there nine times, making six. This has really been a well-officiated game. Yeah, it has. They let, let them play and let them go up and battle each other and call the obvious. Patrick's one for two at the foul line, makes the first. How big has his return yeah. been tonight from the flu? It's been outstanding, yeah. The young man's come in and played with confidence right from the get-go. He had the big three-pointer there to put the Hawks up 7-2 to two, and then a, a two-point basket, and Hawks are up 14-2 at that point. Average is 10. He's at 11 and make it 12. Rock Harding will come and get Patrick. Might have a cramp, too. He's coming to the... the retaper. Brad Floyd will check him out, our outstanding trainer. Six minutes to go. Iowa's up 17. Biggest lead of the night for the Hawks at 81-63. Nominaga. Wiltshire. Mass. They pass it around over the top of that zone. Now Wiltshire rings in a three. He can shoot the three. He's hurt Iowa during his career at Nebraska. 81-66. The Iowa lead cut back to 15. Here's Dix. He's open for three. Can he match it? Yes, sir. Josh Dix. Got to be a career high for him. 16 for Josh and five three-point field goals made has got to be the career high for Josh having an outstanding game against the border rival, Nebraska. 84-66. Iowa's lead back to 18. And now Dix jumps the passing route and steals it away. Iowa running. Sanford. Perkins for three. No good. Strong. And a foul on Tominaga. As he threw an elbow into Brock Harding. Harding's like a fly buzzing around your eyeballs. <laughs> he, he, he can get under your skin. Tominaga commits the elbow shove on Brock Harding, and he's going to shoot free throws. One and Brock, one for Brock. Brock's an excellent free thrower, near 80%. They're going to check it out, review, make sure there's nothing flagrant there. All plays under review this season are brought to you by Atletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But... May I suggest, what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Atletico. Atletico, a proud supporter of Hawkeye football and basketball. Josh Dix, uh, previous career high was 10. But he's blown by that with 16 tonight. 18 points for Owen Freeman. So he's got a new high water mark at 18. His previous high was 16 against North Florida. They say no flagrant foul. 5-12 to go. Iowa up 18 with a chance to get it to 20. Got to be a career high in assists too for Perkins, right? Uh, pretty well, sure. He had one other game that was with outstanding, 13? but pretty close. Well, Corey will check that out for us. Yeah, that's a... Here's Harding to shoot the one and one. Ooh, and he missed it. Rushed it a little bit. Now the Hawks 9 for 13 at the free throw line. Here's Hoiberg with Nebraska down 18. Turns, shoots, and a basket for Williams. Nobody, he found a, a seam high post right in that zone. And nobody challenged him. 84-68, Iowa with the lead and the ball. 4.50 to play. Harding dribbles away from Hoiberg as the Hawks spread the floor. And look for the high percentage shot. Here's Perkins. Breaks into the lane. Shot up. No good. Or did he pass that? Pass. That's a pass. A little jump pass to Owen Freeman, who's now got 20. He set it in off the square. Four and a half to play. It's 86-68. Iowa. Hawks matching baskets with the Huskers. Here's a three. No good. That's going to carry him out of bounds after the miss by Bryce Williams. And the Hawkeyes are in good shape with 4.20 to go in the game, up 18. They really are. Now you've got to take good care of the basketball. Use a little bit of clock here, but continue to attack and pass the ball like they have, Gary. Look at these assist numbers. 28 assists, 32 made baskets. That is like a, every made basket is often assist. 
Kind of a tough time picking our Old Dominion best in the game tonight, Bobby, with Dix and Peyton and Cricky and Tony Perkins. Owen Freeman. Here's Harding for Iowa. They're draining some clock. Four minutes to go in the game. Dix is open. Another three, huh? No, oh. that one skims off the front of the rim. But Peyton Sanford got his hands on the rebound, and the Hawks have a fresh shot clock. Use it. Resets to 20. 3.50 to go in the game. Drain that clock. Perkins has masked the big fella on him on the switch, drives around and misses the jump shot, and it's tipped out to Hoiberg. Sam races into the front court with three and a half to go. Feeds Olick, and the shot blocked by Perkins, but a foul on Iowa. And Josiah Olick will come back from the commercial timeout and shoot a pair of free throws. Nebraska's bench owned the first half, but the Hawkeyes have made the proper adjustments and gotten things under control here in the second half. With another big run fueled by Ben Crickey as the Hawks broke away from a 50-all tie early in the second half. 16-4 run, led it by 12, and now lead it 86-68. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields this coming spring? FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. Our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsseed.com, fsseed.com, and learn more. Hawkeye Basketball is presented by Walmart, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. for the uh, few thousand that found their way to Carver Hawkeye Arena tonight through the snow and the 40 mile an hour gusting winds. They have really seen a humdinger of a basketball game. Very entertaining. Iowa leading Nebraska 86-68 with uh, three minutes, three and a half minutes to play. That's all that separates Iowa from its 10th win of the season and a big win uh, considering Nebraska is coming off an upset of number one Purdue. Absolutely, and uh, played good defense here on, on the three-point line, which they had to do because this is a three-point uh, shooting basketball team. Nebraska, Indeed. just four out of 24, but love the way they pass the ball. 14 assists, a career high for Tony Perkins. Owen Freeman, 10 of 11 from the floor. He's got 20 points, needs one more rebound for the double-double. Free throw by Olick is good. He'll get another as Nebraska toes the charity stripe here as we resume action. Huskers are now 7 of 10 and make it 8 of 11 from the foul line. The Hawkeyes are 9 of 13. But the 13 I like is 13 threes by the Hawkeyes. And they've evened up the paint scores at least in the second half. Nebraska with 14 more lane scores than the Hawkeyes. Hawks draining clock. Peyton Sanford leaves it for Perkins. 86-70 Iowa. Hawks do not play in Lincoln in the regular season. Seven to shoot. Here's Peyton driving left baseline. Step back jumper. No good. Freeman with a rebound. Freeman with a putback and a score and a foul. Owen Freeman, eight of nine from in close. Now make it nine of ten with six dunks. Ten rebounds now. That's a double-double for Owen Freeman. 
Oh, and he is just scratching the scratching wow. the surface of uh, of what he can be. I didn't catch who the foul Sam, was. About. Sam Hoyer, Sammy, reaching in there. Freeman with the N one, 88-70 Iowa, 3:05 to go in the game. Well, you heard Fred on the pregame show talking about how much he loves Owen Freeman's game. Yeah, how, what can you not? This guy's a workmanlike approach every night out and very efficient offensive player. We go under three minutes to play. The free throw was missed by the big O. 88-70. Here's a standstill three. No good by Bryce Williams. Hoiberg tipped the rebound, but right to Peyton Sanford. So the Hawks will bring it across the timeline and spread the floor. That's a double-double for Peyton Sanford now with his 10th rebound. Go along with 16 points. Perkins with a career high in assists. Brock Harding just dribbling out the clock, the shot clock. 2.25 to go in the game. Eight to shoot. Brock with a crossover. Gets into the paint on Hoiberg. Leaves it back out top. Perkins three. Good! Brock Harding did all the heavy lifting there, and Tony lobs in a three. 11 points now, Tony Perkins. He's got a double-double. Some double-doubles all over the court for the Hawkeyes. Harding deflects a pass out of bounds. 2.08 to go in the game. Iowa's biggest lead now at 21. It's 91 70, and Freddie Hoiberg's going to go deeper into his bench. He's conceding this game. Hope comes in for Nebraska. Big kid Matar Hope out of uh, Senegal. And who else snuck in on me? Eli Rice, the freshman. He had a great first half. He's in the game. Jacobson. Uh, uh, Kale Jacobson, another freshman from Ashland, Nebraska on the floor. Minute 55 to go. Nebraska basketball. Here's Olick. Nice bounce pass to the baseline to Hope. Jump shot up and in. That's good execution against the Iowa zone. A little too late though. 91-72 Iowa. 140 to play. Sam Hoiberg pestering the dribbling Brock Harding. Hawks will be 10-6. and six. Nebraska will fall to 13-4. Harding dribbling into the paint finds Owen Freeman and he missed the dunk finally missed one from in close he, he was a little bit out of out of uh, off balance when he went up for the shot I think he thought Harding was going to shoot the jumper in the lane and Owen will be ready for the next one he's got a big smile on his face at the other end a foul on Iowa's Nebraska got the rebound and a run out with 118 to go 9172 Hawkeyes our next broadcast Monday from Minneapolis the Hawks and the Minnesota Golden Gophers who fell at Indiana tonight by 12 we'll recap that for you on the uh, post game show US cellular post game show Owen still smiling as he comes out of the game and he should be smiling about his overall performance oh my goodness what a, what a, a game for the freshman 11 to 13 from the floor 22 points and 10 rebounds in 32 minutes of action yeah, he was the real deal tonight. Josh Dix, man, what a game he had. We had Josh on. Was it Rutgers? We could have him on back to back, but we'll go with Owen Freeman. We can almost go with Owen every night. <laughs> Ooh, lately. <laughs> One minute to play. 91 74. Iowa's lead is 17. Hawks have four to shoot. Step back three is good by Peyton Sanford. Peyton with an icy second half, a hot first half. And now for the game, 16 for Peyton Sanford. Game 19, that's five three-point field goals made. And 15 for the game for the Hawks. Nebraska had 14 against Purdue. Hoiberg lofts a three, it's no good. Run down in the open court by Eli Rice, that freshman from Tennessee. Gatlinburg, here's Olick. Drives in around Lodgy Dembele, and Lodgy fouled him from behind. Got a lot of ball, but he got him with the body as well. 28.4 to play. Iowa by 20, 94-74. The Hawks have led by as many as 21, but it was a 16-4 sprint early in the second half, fueled by Ben Crickey. He was in foul trouble all night, but he had enough to get the Hawks back up double digits, and Iowa gradually widened it to 21 from there. Yeah, they certainly did, and it was Ben Crickey, as you mentioned, had two fouls in the first half, was limited offensively with just two points, but... Uh, it was tied at 50-50, and then after Crickey made the three, made a 65-54, 15-4 run by my count right there, fueled by Ben Crickey. But the Hawkeye depth still puts six guys in double figures. Free throws are good by Aldick. 
94-76. That'll be the final score as Fran McCaffrey says, dribble it out, guys. And he and Fred Hoiberg, good friends. They do a lot for coaches versus cancer each and every summer. And they'll meet again maybe in the Big Ten tournament. No return trip. It's a good it's win a for the Hawkeyes. It's here. a terrific win. And now back-to-back -back wins. We talked about Iowa averaging 96 points at home. And uh, now eight victories at Carver. They've lost just one that to Michigan. And they'll get a chance to uh, pay back Michigan a little bit later on in the season. But impressive tonight. 94 on the board. 94-76. They held Tominaga, uh, Tominaga in check. And Nebraska, the big stat from three, just four of 26. The Hawks, 15 of 35. We'll take it all apart on the U.S. Cellular Postgame Show coming up next on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawks win their second conference game in as many tries, defeating uh, uh, Nebraska, a good, solid Nebraska team, a veteran Nebraska team tonight. But it was uh, the youngsters, the newbies, that uh, 
and uh, somewhat uh, veteran players. I'm talking about sophomore Josh Dix, uh, who uh, rallied the Hawks for victory tonight, 94-76 over uh, the Cornhuskers. Hawkeye basketball has been sponsored this evening by Coles. It's a new season at Coles. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Coles and Coles.com. Also brought to you by Bud and Mary's. Bud and Mary's has the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. And getting a medical card is fast and easy online. Visit BudMary.com to learn more. The Hawkeyes put six in double figures, drain 15 threes uh, on the game, out rebound the Huskers by two, just six turnovers, eight for Nebraska. And the Hawks withered uh, or withstood that first half barrage of uh, paint scorers, drives for layups by Nebraska with the three point shot tonight, Bobby, and uh, win it going away. Yeah, and the Hawkeyes shoot 52% for the game from the floor, 43% three point shooting. Just an outstanding all around team effort to win this game. And we had a lot of stars, but everybody that came in contributed something uh, to the party. But the stat I like there, Jerry, 30 assists, 15 of them by Tony Perkins, but 30 assists on the 35 made baskets by the Hawkeyes. And they were lights out from deep and really played good three point defense on Nebraska. Hawkeyes won it by uh, 18, uh, yeah, 15 assists. You know, that's that's about a as lot. quiet a 15 assist yeah. game. But, you, you know, when you got a guy inside like Owen Freeman who is so light off the ground, he, I mean, his uh, his balance is incredible for a, a first-year player. And granted, he came from a great high school program. But when you can lob it to him for dunks, he had a half a dozen dunks tonight, 11 of 13 from the field. Uh, and then the Hawks drain uh, 15 threes. That's a pretty mm. good combo. Yeah, when you shoot that uh, high percentage, you're going to have a lot of assists out there. And so... Good overall effort and the defense, and it went to the zone. I thought to stop the dribble penetration that drives by Nebraska. Cal Wolfsburg, I know, has the single game assist record. We'll double check the numbers. Tony had to be crowding that tonight. Our post game show is sponsored by U.S. Cellular. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. We're back with a high V stat recap on tonight's Iowa victory after this. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Hawkeye basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. All right, guys. With a 94-76 victory of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, let's take a look at the uh, stat Recap courtesy of Hy-Vee. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free Hy-Vee Perks membership. Uh, unless we have Owen Freeman, 
The Hawks uh, put six in double figures tonight, uh, led by Owen Freeman's 22 points and 10 rebounds. Another double-double. Owen is uh, our uh, Old Dominion best in the game, and he's going to join us here shortly. 19 for Peyton Sanford, 16 for Josh Dix. Josh had five threes and a free throw tonight. We could have easily selected him, but uh, Owen was just too good uh, with 11 of 13 uh, scores from in close, including uh, a half a dozen dunks. A dozen points for Patrick McCaffrey and Ben Cricky. Ben only played 22 minutes because of foul issues. Tony Perkins with 11 points and 15 assists. Now, Cal Wolfsburg, way back in the 70s, has the uh, single-game record with 16 assists. And Tony was crowding Cal tonight with 15. That ties B.J. Armstrong. B.J. had 15 in a game for second all-time here at the University of Iowa. 22 for Freeman, 19 for Peyton Sanford. Peyton had five threes uh, on the game, as did Josh Dix. 16 for uh, uh, Dix, 12 each for Patrick McCaffrey and Ben Cricky. Good to have Patrick back in the lineup. And 11 for Tony Perkins. All right, let's uh, put a halt on the high V stat recap. Go inside the Hawkeye locker room and welcome in uh, Owen Freeman. Owen, our uh, Old Dominion Freightline, best in the game. Old Dominion Freightline works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. And that was uh, uh, the big O, as I like to call him. Uh, uh, Oscar Robertson was a different player, but but Owen's providing a lot of thrills early in his career. Uh, you, you logged 32 minutes uh, tonight, uh, uh, and you look like you could have gone a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is it, we just... It was a lot of fun just to be out there with those guys playing at that uh, that kind of energy. Um, I mean, this team's definitely uh, the energy's been switched, and we're ready. And um, you know, it's just a lot of fun to be out there. Well, it's like like night and day from that 0-3 start, isn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. just as you get more comfortable. And granted, you 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 won both games at home here. Uh, it's tough on the road, as Nebraska found out tonight. But you look you look a lot more relaxed in your new role, Owen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I'm, I think it was just that adjustment period to to the game. You know, um, just competing at this level in this league. Uh, it, it took me a little bit, but um, now that I'm adjusted, I feel a lot more comfortable, having a lot more fun. You know, I'm amazed at your at your balance, your anticipation of where the ball is coming, how it's arriving to you. Have you always you always had that uh, that good sneaker balance, uh, knowing that uh, the contact is is much different at this level? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was I think that still was that big adjustment period. You know, um, mm-hmm. at first I was I was a little uh, didn't wasn't sure about anything, but uh, now I'm getting more sure and um, definitely feel more comfortable and uh, definitely finding that groove, which allows me to be on balance and kind of be able to make those shots. And you were ready to come and, and get Ben Cricky at every uh, corner tonight when he got in foul trouble. You couldn't wait to get back out on the floor. I like that kind of uh, work ethic. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I mean, I'm trying to seize every moment, you know. How about the balance? Six and double figures. And Perkins, uh, he was an assist machine. Fifteen Crazy. assists for Tony. Yeah, I mean, it just I feel like that just shows the, the kind of team we are. We have so many different weapons that can hurt you. And um, when we're all clicking, we're all uh, playing together. I mean, we're a pretty scary team. The talk of the town had been the 14 threes that Nebraska uh, had made uh, at uh, or against number one Purdue over in Lincoln the other night, and that is lofty, 60% from three. And here the Hawks rein in 15 tonight and 35 tries, and the perimeter defense uh, was was really good, especially in the second half when you went to the zone. They mm-hmm. were ended up what four of 26 from from uh, distance. What was the difference maker with the zone? I mean, we knew uh, coming in at this team um, they could shoot the ball, and obviously they didn't have the greatest first half shooting it. Um, so coach really wanted to try this two three zone, and um, we, he he meant he said all week if we go zone, it's got to be an active zone, and that's exactly what we were. We were active. We were closing out the shooters, um, and. That's props to props to coaching and props to the guys just bringing it um, when we needed it. Well, for the few thousand fans that braved the wintry weather to, to come out tonight, they saw a heck of a game and they saw Owen Freeman, Freeman up close. Uh, you got to hand it to the Hawk fans, don't you? Oh, definitely. I mean, them being able to come out here in this kind of weather, I mean, it just shows the kind of fan base this is. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I decided to come here. Um, I love Hawk fans, uh, best best uh, fan base in the country. Well, they love Owen Freeman, and, and more and more with each passing day. Now it's a short turnaround up to Minneapolis uh, for Martin Luther King Day and a 5 o'clock tip-off uh, Monday afternoon. Your first visit to the famous barn, Williams Arena. I know you've seen it on TV, and you've heard us broadcast from there, but uh, I know you're looking forward to that. Definitely, definitely. I'm looking forward to every row game and see every different uh, venue, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Coaches are going to get us ready starting tomorrow, and uh, I can't wait. 
Owen Freeman, our uh, Old Dominion best in the game. Thanks, O. Yep, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Yep, thanks, 22 guys. points in 32 minutes, 11 of 13 from the floor. Uh, Owen Freeman, our Old Dominion Freightline best in the game. Back to the stat sheet. Uh, six and double figures the Hawks uh, for the Hawks, uh, led by Freeman's 22, 19 for Peyton Sanford, 16 for Josh Dix. Hawks shoot 52% for the game on uh, 35 of 67 uh, and uh, hit 15 threes. 15 of their 35 field goals were from three. And because of Tony uh, Perkins' uh, excellent floor game, the Hawks had 30 assists on 35 made baskets. That is off the charts. For Nebraska, uh, the Huskers... Put uh, four and double figures, uh, led by uh, uh, Josiah Olick off the bench. The 6'8 grad transfer from New Mexico had 14. Same amount uh, for Rink Mast, 14 points on six of nine shooting. He also had five rebounds uh, to lead uh, the Huskers. Uh, 13 points for Kese Tomanaga. It took 10 shots to get there, though, and he was just one of five from distance. 11 points for Eli Rice, the freshman off the bench. All of those, or at least nine of, of those 11 coming in the first half uh, when uh, Nebraska owned the paint, but in paint scores, the Hawkeyes fought back in the second half. We'll give you that total on our Spawn and Rose uh, paint score recap in just a minute. Iowa's leading rebounder, Owen Freeman and Peyton Sanford, each with 10. So double doubles for Owen Freeman and Peyton Sanford uh, tonight. Tony Perkins uh, off the charts with 15 assists, but Sanford had five assists, only one turnover. Great floor game for Peyton, and he played 35 minutes. Ben Cricky with those dozen points in just 22 minutes of action. The Hawks out rebound Nebraska 36 to uh, 34. Eight turnovers for the Huskers, just six for the Hawkeyes. Points off turnovers were even for the game. Uh, bench scoring Nebraska on the day 34. Uh, bench scores to 18 for the Hawkeyes. There were three ties, four lead changes. The last tie at 50 when the Hawks then went off. Behind Ben Crick, he hit three consecutive jump shots. And Iowa outscored Nebraska 16-4 to four over a four-minute period to get the lead back to uh, double digits. They gradually stretched it to 21 and win it by 18, 94 to <clears throat> 76. Score was Iowa with 41, Nebraska 36 at the break, and the Hawks win it by 18. That's our High V uh, stat recap. Score big savings with the all new, totally free High V Perks membership. Now to our uh, charity stripe recap, courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. Uh, for the game, uh, Nebraska 12 of 15 made free throws for 80%. Hawks were 9 of 14 for 64%, but as we uh, said at halftime, uh, free throws, we thought it'd be more of a factor because both these teams uh, get to the foul line a lot, but not tonight. That's your charity stripe recap courtesy of Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawkeyes' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thanks to Latham Seeds for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye charity stripe promotion all season long. And we'll have more U.S. Cellular Post game in a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. 
This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Iowa wins it over Nebraska 94 76. Hawks get to uh, uh, two and three now in Big Ten play headed to Minneapolis and Minnesota. On Monday, uh, Nebraska uh, drops to uh, a three and three. The Huskers have played six games already and are at level 500. Uh, we'll hear from Coach Fran McCaffrey shortly. In the meantime, let's uh, eavesdrop on uh, Nebraska coach uh, Fred Hoiberg. Freddie addressed the media just a few minutes ago and said uh, the start of the game, uh, what the Hawks got out out to a 17-2 advantage, uh, just can't happen. Uh, so what you always worry about after a big emotional win is uh, is a hangover like that, and that's tough to do against Iowa with the way they move, the way they score it, and uh, you know give them credit. They did they did a lot of really good things out there. Tonight. How do you think that zone affected you in the second half? Well, I just you know we weren't first of all we weren't getting into our action. We weren't getting them. Once we got it in the middle, we were fine, and we were getting some high lows. We got some good looks that we missed. Uh, you know, but when we first came down, we just were not getting to the right spots. And, you know, once we settled down a little bit, but it was too late after that. You know, once they built that big lead, it was hard to climb back in, uh, in it. And our shots obviously didn't fall uh, tonight like they had been the last couple games. Um, you know, we scored, I think, 30, 46 in the paint. Uh, you know, so we, when we got it in there, good things happened. I think 30 of our 36 in the first half were in the paint. And the second half, again, we, we missed a couple right at the rim. And uh, you got to make your open shots when you're playing against the zone. Uh, we didn't do that. But again, give Fran and, and give Iowa credit for that. Did you think you got good looks with the threes? I thought we had some good looks. I thought we rushed early. You know, we talked about not playing their game. You can't beat them on their home court when you play their game. And we took, I thought, four rush shots early. And that led to them getting run outs. It, uh, it, it led to them uh, starting the game 17 to 2. Uh, once we settled down and got the ball in the paint, good things happened. Uh, you know, we moved it and we cut well. And you got to do that from the beginning of the game. You can't come out and jack shots and, and try to uh, match shot for shot in this building. They're too good at it. And, you know, I thought we, we played their game uh, a little bit too much. And that was a big reason that we dug ourselves that big hole. How much did the playing for the third game in, in seven days, second on the road, and then the hangover maybe of? The practice. I mean, did you see or sense anything as far as a potential letdown, just in terms of the energy and effort? I thought our energy this morning, actually, in our in our shoot around was was good. Um, you know, we pushed them, we ran. Uh, you know, we competed this morning in our shoot around just because we didn't do a ton. We didn't do much at all. Put the game plan in the night after. Uh, sorry, the morning after the Purdue game, just because it was such a late game. And, uh, you know, this is one of those you wish you had four or five days in between to get a day off and then to, to get them back in there and refocus them. But, uh, yeah, yesterday we were okay. This morning I thought we were sharp and obviously didn't carry over. What did you, uh, what do you think you got from Eli tonight? Yeah, I thought Eli gave us good minutes. He, he really helped us get back in this game. And, you know, it showed what he's capable of. He can go create his own shot and get to the basket, uh, hit a three for us in that, in that stretch, uh, had nine first-half points. Uh, he's a talented player. Um, you know, listen, like everybody on that other end, you know, we just we just weren't very good tonight, and that was the difference in the game. You know, we we're trying to match shot for shot, but at some point, you got to find a way to dig in and, and get tough and, and find a way to get stops. We just never we never got to that tonight. I think Iowa had six guys in double figures. Perkins finished with 15 assists. How hard is this Iowa team to defend when, when they have that many guys? Against? Yeah, it's obviously it's one of the top offenses in the country. Fran does an unbelievable job of of getting his guys, uh, you know, to move and cut. Uh, you know, the bigs are really good. Freeman uh, is a load down there in the block. Uh, Cricky got it going for that stretch, hitting threes. I thought Patrick played well. Sanford, obviously, is one of the best shooters in the country. And then Perkins ran the show for him. You know, Dix had a, a really, really good game as well. So, you know, they played, they played great. Give them credit for it. Uh, but again, our toughness wasn't where it needed to be uh, to win a Big Ten game on the road. Coach Fred Hoiberg of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, he's right in that first half. Uh, the freshman, uh, Eli Rice, 
and the uh, grad transfer senior uh, Josiah Olick uh, from Lincoln uh, by way of New Mexico came off the bench and they were driving it. They were scoring in the lane uh, as we see uh, points in the paint. It was lopsided at the break. Hawks uh, got that corrected with that zone in the second half. Paint scores courtesy of Spot and Rose ended up Nebraska 46, Iowa 32. Why wait to repaint your home to freshen it to sell? Take a quick trip to your local Spot and Rose. Pick some new colors from the Valspar paint rack and start painting so you can enjoy it now. For interior makeovers, only Valspar Medallion Paint and Primer has color affinity for one coat color that lasts. For exteriors, it provides fade resistant color, coverage, and true weather tight toughness. Start here and finish with perfection at your Spawn and Rose, your local Spawn and Rose. Paint scores, Nebraska 46, Iowa 32, but the Hawks a much better second half with that zone that shut off the lane for Nebraska. When they did get in there, they missed a lot of jump shots, and the Hawks went at 94 to 76. More U.S. Cellular postgame is right around the corner. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawkeye Basketball on 1040 WHO is presented by Bud and Mary's. Get your medical card online and visit their dispensary for the largest selection of locally grown full THC cannabis products in Iowa. Search Bud and Mary's online. Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Postgame Show, Iowa 94, Nebraska 76. That's the final. And uh, Coach McCaffrey is ready to go with Bob Hansen in the Hawkeye locker room. He's courtesy, they are courtesy of uh, your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Casey Nielsen in Tatanka. Take it away, Bobby. Coach, on a night when uh, they're telling us to stay home and uh, get off the roads, fans came out here tonight and were really witnessed a, an exciting basketball game and an overall great team victory here for the Hawkeyes. Your thoughts? I have to tell you, Bobby, that was really impressive. I walked out on the floor, and I was expecting to see a COVID year crowd which was, as you remember, only family. So we would have less than 200, maybe 200 people in the building. And our fans showed up. The band was here. And it made a difference, especially when we got to a lead early. And then when they made their run back at us, they hung in there with us and helped us extend the lead again. But I haven't looked at too many box scores at the end of a game that I've coached, and I've coached a lot of them. 30 assists on 35 field goals. You just don't see that. That speaks to the unselfishness of this group, but it also speaks to their understanding of the game plan. Uh, the way Nebraska plays defense, the way Fred teaches defense is really good, and it's very sound, but it's very specific. And if you don't understand that, you'll play right into turnovers and deflections and missed shots, and they just kept moving the ball for open people, and it was, it was a thing of beauty. And, Coach, the 30 assists for the team, uh, 15 of them by Tony Perkins, one off the school record, the 15 ties B.J. Armstrong for the second most in uh, school history. And it, kind of a quiet 15. He just was finding the guys inside, and they were producing. 
He seemed to have really good uh, sort of connection and chemistry with with Owen. You know, and so does Brock, but that's understandable. But, uh, you know, Tony was looking for him. But we really moved without the ball, and we got people open, and we moved it side to side. And that's, that's a big thing that we teach all the time. So it was really impressive. Six Hawkeyes in double figures here tonight, and uh, that, that also was impressive. And double doubles all around the uh, board. And once again, Owen Freeman, the freshman, just outstanding. And you know what's interesting about him? Uh, he, he played through some fatigue. He has to come out uh, once or twice because he was gassed. That's because he runs and he's all over the glass. I mean, he affects the game in so many different ways. I'm so yeah. proud of him. Yeah, and good to see Patrick back in the lineup. He was playing with a lot of energy early. He really got you going. Patrick was terrific tonight, and uh, I think his sprained ankle is a little little bit uh, wasn't a good one. So we're, he's in there now in the training room. So hopefully he'll be fine. So we need him. He provides, you know, something a little bit different. But uh, Josh Dix coming in, uh, boy, was he great tonight as well. That was my next question, Josh Dix. Uh, you know, from Council Bluffs, right across the border from Nebraska, and he played with purpose tonight. I, I think he played essentially a flawless game because he played both ends. He made shots. He made plays. He handled the ball. He played some one. He played some two. We rebounded the ball, at, you know, kind of at the small forward position. He's he's special, and I've been saying it all year long. I've been saying it all last year. It's just got to give him more playing time when we did. And uh, Ben Cricky saddled a couple of fouls early, but he came in and had a stretch there. I think he scored, I don't know, three or four baskets in a row that really propelled a 15-4 to four run that put this game away. You know, I, it's funny. I looked at the box score, and I was surprised he only had 12, but I think he had them all in a row. As I forgot, he only played nine minutes in the first half, Bobby, because he was in foul trouble. And then the reason I do that is so when he gets his third, which he did in the second half, I just leave him in there. Now he got his fourth, I had to take him out. And then we went small because they were going to press anyway. I would have put him back in, but in Nito. Well, Coach, on a personal note, uh, congratulations. This victory ties you with Dr. Tom Davis for uh, most wins overall uh, in Hawkeye history. And with one more, you'll become the all-time winningest coach. And you can get that done up in Minnesota when we head there on uh, Monday. Coach is really uh, one of the more special people in this business, and you know that. Uh, he sent me a note uh, this week, a uh, handwritten letter you know, congratulating me and how much he enjoys our team, how much he enjoys watching us play. Uh, you know, because I, you know, I tied the record of Big Ten wins, but that's the kind of person he is. From the minute I got here, he reached out to me, and we've remained close. And it's always great to see him when we celebrate the memory of Chris Street. And uh, you know, I just I think the world of him as a coach, but most importantly as a person. Well, coach, again, congratulations. Well said, and uh, we'll catch up with you up in Minneapolis. Look forward to it, Bobby. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Bobby. Congratulations, Coach. Uh, tied now with uh, Tom Davis and hopefully breaks the record on uh, Monday with 271 uh, career victories uh, as the head coach of the Hawkeyes. Uh, Fran's visit with Bobby is always sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including KC Nielsen, your premier John Deere dealer serving northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. They offer parts, sales and service uh, on all. John Deere Equipment. KC Nielsen has been family owned and operated since 1946. Learn more at kcnielsen.com. All right, let's uh, go back uh, uh, in recent history here tonight and uh, listen to some of the highlights from Iowa's victory 94 76 over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Uh, Owen Freeman uh, on a putback gave Iowa the early lead. Top of the key left, now to Perkins. Tony. Side step to his left. Now free throw line. Cricky turns, shoots, and no good. Rebounded by Owen Freeman. Up and in. That's what he does. Indeed. Nebraska tied the game at two, and then the Hawks went on a 15-0 run, started by Ben Cricky. Here's Peyton Sanford, far corner. Oh, he's knocked wow. sideways. No whistle. Oh, the guy standing right there and swallowed the whistle. Cricky for jump shooting a two from 17 feet, and down it goes. He's just right. a welcome mat for Patrick back in the lineup. The assist to Tony Freeman there, as Bobby mentioned, Patrick McCaffrey, back after a night off with the flu, uh, and two minutes into the game, he hits a big three. No good. 0 for 3 from distance are the Huskers. Juwan Gary's 0 for 2. Perkins brings it back for the Hawkeyes after a rebound. Patrick McCaffrey's open for 3, and splash down. Hawkeyes out 7-2 over Nebraska. Uh, one of many uh, triples tonight for the Hawks. They were uh, the Nebraska of Tuesday night against Purdue. Uh, evidence of uh, Peyton Sanford on this play. 
Patrick's got a three in his hip pocket. Dribbles right wing, leaves it for Cricky. High post right, right back to McCaffrey. Drives through the lane, back to Cricky. Sanford for three. It's good. Freddie Hoiberg wants his team to get going. It's 12-2. And the run was 10 straight after that Peyton Sanford uh, three-point goal. Uh, we scoot ahead uh, two minutes uh, further into the game. Uh, uh, Freeman, Owen Freeman, uh, he, he can do more than dunk it. And Sanford almost threw it away. Freeman goes and gets it. Shot up and good. What body control. A little double dip in midair. Was coming down with a ball and flipped it up and in and drew contact. Yeah. That concluded the 15-0 run. The Hawkeyes uh, uh, saw uh, Iowa only turn the ball over six times tonight, but two of them uh, uh, occurred back-to-back, uh, and that gave Nebraska a little fuel midway through the first half. They were down 19-4, to uh, got two easy layups, uh, drew to within 19-8 uh, before Freeman hit that jump shot. And the Hawks were back up double digits with four minutes to go in the first half. Peyton Sanford kept it warm from the perimeter. Tony Perkins jump passes to Peyton Sanford. High post left. Passed up the shot. 10 to shoot. 420 to play in the first half. Perkins around a screen by Braun. Gets it to Peyton Sanford. And he knocks in a three from the far sideline. That was a big basket because Nebraska had come all the way back from 15 down and got to within two before Sanford drilled that three to make it 33-28 with uh, just under four and a half minutes to go. And another assist, a dazzling assist from Tony Perkins. And then Perkins showed he can still shoot. McCaffrey lobs for Evan Bronze. Young man from right here in Iowa City, Dix, stop and go move, holds up. Perkins is open for three. Deep left wing, good. Nice find, Josh Dix. Josh Dix uh, with a terrific assist. And of course, Josh had uh, five three-point goals on the game uh, tonight. Five of eight shooting. All five were uh, three-point uh, uh, goals. He had 16 total points. But that nice assist there to Peyton put the Hawks, uh, or to Perkins, put Iowa up six, 36-30. Iowa led 41-36 at the break. And Nebraska came out with uh, a quick flurry to start the second half. Got the game tied at 50, and that's when Ben Crickey took over. Has Iowa now with a chance to get the lead. Perkins throws to Patrick McCaffrey, right wing, top of the circle, Cricky. He looks inside for Owen Freeman, drives in, takes the shot, and scores. Thrown out the welcome mat for Patrick back in the lineup. He's played well. Sanford hits a cutting Cricky. Baseline jumper, good. And he's in that zone. Ben, get him the ball. Iowa running a little three-man weave out front. Here's Tony. Keep moving. Perkins from Freeman. Tony to Patrick. Shot fake on a three. Finds Cricky in the corner. He lobs it up there. Down through again. He's hit three in a row. He did a pair of twos and a three, and the Hawks went up seven. Uh, and that was the spark they needed. You know, Cricky was really frustrated. He picked up two early fouls again tonight, sat out most of the first half, got his third foul early in the second half, but he did some damage while he was on the floor. Uh, two minutes after that 7-0 run by Cricky, he drains this three midway through the second half. Ben looking, looking, can't find anybody. 14 to shoot. Here are the Hawks in the lane. Now to the corner. Cricky's open. Stand still three. Yes, sir. Ed Hoiberg. I thought he might whistle for a timeout. Iowa back up nine. I make it 11. Yeah, it was uh, 65-54 on that Ben Cricky. Uh, three-point goal. So he had a pair of threes and a pair of twos in that run. The Hawks got it to double digits again. Uh, they got a stop. Then Tony Perkins hit two free throws. Iowa went up 67-54. So the run was 8-0 in the second half. They gradually stretched it to 21 and went at 96, uh, 94 to 76. Some of the highlights from tonight's Hawkeye victory over the Nebraska Cornhuskers here at uh, Carver Hawkeye Arena. We'll take a break on the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. Come right back. First, let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. Station identification, you're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. And we're back to wind down our U.S. Cellular Post Game Show after this pause. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. 
Honda gets the Midwest. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Final score tonight here on the U.S. Earlier postgame show, Iowa defeats Nebraska 94-76. No return to Lincoln for the rematch. It's one of those one-play-only years for Iowa and the Huskers. <clears throat> Congratulations to Josh Dix. He's our Lennox Dealers of Iowa. Hot Hawkeye, he heated up the nets tonight, did he ever? Five of eight shooting and all five field goals from three. Josh Dix continues to mature and get better and better and better. The sophomore from Council Bluffs, he played 27 minutes, 16 total points, a couple rebounds, a couple of assists, and two steals. And he is our hot hawk, courtesy of your Lennox dealers of Iowa, including in Atlantic Air Solutions, Freed Heating in the Quad Cities and Davenport in particular, in Des Moines, the capital city, stop in and see Lozier Heating and Cooling. All Seasons Heating and Cooling has Dubuque covered, and in Delaware County and Manchester, it's Don and Waltz Incorporated. We'll come back and wrap up our show with a U.S. Bank scoreboard right after this. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need, whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season. Like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. Let's wrap with a U.S. Bank scoreboard update uh, tonight here on the U.S. Cellular postgame show. Uh, the Hawkeyes win 
94-76 over Nebraska. Iowa now sits at 2-3 uh, and three in Big Ten play. Ten wins, six defeats overall. Nebraska drops to 13-4 and 3-3 and three and three in the Big Ten. Down in Bloomington, the Hoosiers led from start to finish and out-defensed Minnesota 74-62. That's Iowa's next opponent, the Golden Gophers in Minneapolis on Monday afternoon, Martin Luther King Day. Out in Lincoln tonight, the second-ranked Iowa wrestlers outlasted number 4 Nebraska 22-10. to Hawks got decisions from Drake Ayala at 25, Real Woods at 141, Jared Frantic with a 5-4 victory at 157, Mike Caliendo wins at 65, and Patrick Kennedy, a decision 9-5 at 174. Zach Glazier, uh, a major decision at 11-2 at 197 pounds. That sewed it up for the Hawkeyes, and Bradley Hill finished uh, with a, a victory at heavyweight. So the Hawks win all but uh, uh, three matches en route to a 22-10 decision over Nebraska. Gymnastics, the Hawks open the season tonight. The Hawkeye women uh, ranked 23rd, defeated number 21, Washington, 196.4 to 196.2 out at Extreme Arena. Congratulations to the Hawkeye women's gymnasts. Of course, tomorrow we hope to have uh, women's basketball here at Carver, another sold-out house with the Hawkeyes and Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Hoosiers. Now, Indiana has yet to get out of Bloomington. They hope to fly in here tomorrow morning for that 7 o'clock tip-off. Tomorrow night, our pregame coverage here on the Hawkeye Radio Network starts at 6.45. So stay tuned to your Hawkeye Radio Network station for updates. Uh, and obviously, uh, take it easy with this uh, inclement weather, to say the least. Uh, it's uh, going to get better here over the next 24 hours, but the wind is the issue going forward. Final score here tonight from Iowa City, Iowa 94, Nebraska 76. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. My thanks to Bobby Hanson. Our engineer producer has been Corey Sheets. I'm Gary Dolphin. That concludes our U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. And this is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.